Welcome to High Ground Gaming. Really excited to have Andrew Gray here with us today. Yes, great to be here. It's exciting because he is our first sponsor, his company, Gray Matter Gaming. I'm sure you see their logo on every video that we have, and it's really been a, a true pleasure uh, you know, getting to know you and working with you. Yeah, it's been great uh, expanding the partnership, working with you guys with your local tournaments and things like that. And now it's great to be on the channel. Yeah, I'm excited to have you on the channel. You have an absolutely gorgeous army, which you'll get to see in a minute here. It's got a lot of cool conversions and stuff, so I'm happy to show that off. Um, Andrew came to one of our original in-person tournaments, and he sent me the pictures of his foxes that you'll see. And I was like, yeah, you can play those. <laughs> Please bring them. Those are sweet. <laughs> yep, I just, I like the fox motif, especially for the Huracans, right? So I figured I'd expand that onto the, the wind chargers. And uh, so I got a little conversion on there for them. Yeah, they're looking great. So we're excited today to be playing Lumineth versus the new Slanesh book. I'm going to be trying out Godseekers. I'll go through the list in a little bit here. Uh, I like the sub-faction. I think it's interesting. I know it's probably the weaker of the three, but I think it's going to be a fun one to play with. Yep, and I'm playing the Lumineth with Sayar, so I like the extra ether course that it gives. Um, so I'm running a good amount of foot troops. I got a unit of knights, two units of wind chargers, um, one spirit of the wind, a wind mage. Uh, I'm bringing the twins and Altharion, so a uh, little bit of everything, a lot of foot uh, troops, but a good amount of mo mobility too. Cool. And you also get to see today the new Lava Mat from Grey Matter. This was donated to the channel by Grey Matter, which is cool. And he's got some really nice uh, objective markers with our logo on them, too. Yep. So it's our Infernal Steps Mat. It's one of our newer ones that we came out with in February. So check it out, check it out on our website and uh, watch it on the channel. Let's get to the list. Excited to be here today with the Lumineth Realm Lords. Uh, my sub faction I'm taking is Sayar for the extra Ether Courts, and my grand strategy is take what's theirs. Um, I'm taking Alani and Elithor, the twins. Their extra spell is Ethereal Blessings and Speed of Hish, and my general is the Huracan Wind Mage. His command trait is Grand Wind Rider, which gives flying to my foxes, and the spell is Transporting Vortex and Healing Zephyr. I'm also taking the Light of Eltharion for some melee power in there. Well, he's looking good too. And then I'm also taking the Huracan Spirit of the Wind in the Warlord Regiment, which gives me uh, extra spell on all my wizards, which I have quite a bit of wizards. And then I'm also taking in that the Venari Lord Regent, who has the extra spell Protection of Hish and Flaming Weapon. And rounding out my heroes is the Sonari Cathaler, who has the artifact Silver Wand with the spell Total Eclipse and Overwhelming Heat. My battle line units are 20 Venari Wardens with the spell Protection of Hish and Overwhelming Heat, and 10 Venari Wardens with the same spells Protection of Hish and Overwhelming Heat. And then I have five Dawn Riders with Speed of Hish and Solar Flare. My last two units are my two units of Huracan Wind Chargers which have been converted to have foxes on them, or riding foxes, I should say. And then I have a endless spell of Rune of Petrification. Welcome to the depraved menagerie of Slanesh. We have some God Seekers here today. I know it's probably not the most powerful sub-faction, but uh, it's got some fun tricks and I want to play it. So I'm going to try it. <laughs> uh, really excited to be getting the big man himself on the table, Glutos. As you can see, his uh, three followers that ride the front of the chariot are on vacation. So they will not be joining us this game as they are just getting some, uh, you know, their tan on, that kind of thing. Uh, he's got the spell Progeny of Damnation. Right here, we have good old Siggy. One of my favorite models, really the reason that I got into Slanesh in the first place is his beautifulness. I uh, just absolutely wanted to paint it very badly, and I think I did an okay job, so ho hopefully you guys like it. And then moving on, last hero, the Contorted Epitome. I think it basically is a staple in every Slanesh list if you're trying to play it in a non-casual way. 
Uh, that's going to be the general, command trait, speed chaser, artifact cameo, the dark prince. I want to try that one out to get basic unlimited command points for a turn, which would be cool. And then uh, the spell is slothful stupor, and the aspect of the champion is fueled by gurish rage. Try and keep it alive. Moving on from there, we've got battle line. Three units of bliss barb archers. I think they are much improved in the new book. I've really enjoyed playing them. Really excited to get them on the table because for a long time I did not have them painted. So they've, they're now there. <laughs> From there, you can see behind that unit of Bliss Barb Archers, we've got a unit of 20 Daemonets. Um, toying around with the idea of playing a unit of 30, I mean, if you can get to the five up ward with the Depravity, they also rally on fives. So it could actually be a fairly tanky blender of a melee unit. And then, uh, Daemonets on Seekers. So, unit of Seekers, they're fast, they tie things up, pretty good at that. I'm gonna try them out. So you can see the uh, Nurgle colored spell portal in the back there. Brad kindly let me borrow it, so it's, it was originally painted up for his Nurgle army. And then last but not least, in the very back, we have a unit of Slick Blade Seekers. I don't have the riders on them yet, still working on getting them painted up and really actually deciding on whether I want them to be Bliss Barbs or Slick Blades. So that's why they're uh, riderless. Looking forward to playing this game with Andrew. Uh, my battle regiment has quite a bit of the units in it. The only ones that aren't are the three units of Bliss Barb Archers. They are all in the Galician Sharpshooters, so everything else is in the regiment. Grand strategy is take what's theirs. My Triumph is Indomitable, which I will get because I'm 1995. You got it. <laughs> Catch you guys soon. We've got the prize of Galette today. So one of the uh, classic ones in Age of Sigmar 3.0. Obviously you can see there's five objectives, three in the middle, one in each territory, one on the borderline of the territories. Um, long edge table deployment for both sides. The only uh, trick, I guess you could say, with this one is the activating of the objectives. So the person that's going second in the battle round gets to pick one. In the first battle round, you have to pick one in the middle. After that, you can go ahead and pick your own, or of course your opponents. I don't know why you would, but you could. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I have the option of deciding who goes first. I was four drops and Andrew was six, so I am going to give him the first turn. Don't know that that's the right thing to do, but I do want to get to pick which objective is going to be active. So I think uh, I'm going to go for this guy over here. So we're going with this one over here as our first active, and we will jump into Lumineth Realm Lords turn one. <laughs> Lumineth Realm Lords turn one. All right. Um, battle tactic is going to be blind the enemy. So I'm going to try to get four more spells off with different Realm Lords units. Um, and I'm going to start that with Greater Power of Hish on the Lord Regent. Let's do uh, heroic actions real quick. Oh, so. yep. So I'm just going to be going for uh, Command Point on Altharion. Got it. Alright, so you're at three Command Points. Yep. And I will go for one on Glutos. And I will not get it, so I will still be at three command points as well. So okay. your command points are the blue dice, mine are the green. Okay. And I'm marking my ether courts with the yellow dice. Perfect. So, all right. Um, greater power of Hish from the Venari Lord Regent. It's plus one on this, so it gets it off on an eight. An eight. Oh, man. Um, you don't have any archers, so I'm not as well, I got the, about it. I got the, yeah, but what's the range on it? Like 18? 18 right? inches. And it can affect those. It'll only affect the Venari. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with it. Okay. Because you got a lot more spells, right? Yep. So that'll be D3 units is affected. So three Ooh, units. the maximum. So... All the Venari? Um, I'm not going to do the small unit. I'll do the big unit the knights, and himself. Cool. Okay. Um, so that'll be that. The um, Alani and Elithor are going to cast their Salvation of, of Hish on themselves. They get that off on an 8. That's the 5-up ward on themselves. On themselves? Yes. How many more spells do you have after that? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So I don't think I care about them having a ward. Okay. So 
So you're good to go. They are going to cast, um, actually, uh, the twins are going to cast Speed of Hish. Okay. They get that off on a seven. I will try and unbind Speed of Hish. Do it from the mirror. Not that it means anything special. Ooh, got a 10. Cool. Got it. That's one of the important ones for me. Yep. The small unit is going to cast Protection of Hish. That's the five up ward. That's the five up ward in a bubble. Okay, you got it on a six? Or is it a seven? I'm going to try and unbind. That's on an eight, so they don't get that off. Oh. So that fails. Um, oh, the casting value is eight. Yep, casting value is an eight, so they got didn't it. get it off. Um, so the big unit is going to try to cast Mystic Shield. Um, yeah, Mystic Shield. They get that off on a six. They don't have any bonuses to casting? No. Okay, I'll use Glutose. I will not. I rolled a four. Okay, so that's three spells off. Um, one more and you got it. One more. The Knights. I believe in you. The Knights are going to cast Magic Missile, Arcane Bolt, on an eight. You're good. I don't think they're in range anymore. Nope. So that's the battle tactic. Yep, so I've got my battle tactic. Alright, got two um, run lines. She is going to cast um, Total Eclipse. Yep, that's the one we care about. On an eight. Alright. Uh, hold on, I don't think that that one a nine. That's a nine. Oh, wow. So that's I. A nine? Yeah. I'm going to use an Ether Course to give nine? it a plus one to a nine. Alright. Oh, I needed that 10 there. So that goes off. Ouch. Um, I'm going to put that there just to remind me that it's out there. Just put it on mine. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's better. That's a good idea. All right. And then the Wind Mage um, transporting Vortex. Is that what that spell's called? Yeah, the teleport. Yep. So that's not going to go off on a six. Okay. So. That's the end of the hero phase. All right, cool. Go to move it, and we'll show you where all ends up. All right, so moved up the knights a little bit. I didn't get speed of hitch off, so I um, wasn't confident I could make any charges, so I just moved up to be able to attack that objective and get the points. Moved some of my heroes up a little bit in a bundle. Moved some of the foxes up to be able to, to shoot. Um, and otherwise... Trying to stay a little bit defensive in case um, Sean gets the double. So, um, so not much on movement for a relatively fast army, but that's okay. Um, however, I hope to have a good shooting turn. I got four foxes that are in range that are going to shoot at. Um, Put an all out defense down to one command point. All right. So they have two shots each, so that's six. Uh, eight plus one for the champion is nine. And so, um, I'm going to spend an ether quartz to give him plus one to hit. Okay. So, um, she's going to drain that so that way they don't get the negative bonus. And they're going to be hitting on now twos by threes. Nice. I'll hit. I can't even ask you for if you want to dice. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'll keep these. Oh, that's not as good. That's okay. That's okay. I'll so take you have it. Three, three missed wounds? Yep, three missed wounds. And they're negative one run, so I'll be saving on fives because my five goes to a four, back to a five. Do I want to offer you a temptation? I have to make one more save. I'm going to do it. I don't know that it's the smartest thing. Would you like to have a wound or would you like to take three mortal wounds. I'll give you the depravity points. Okay. Depravity it is. I will get four. So starting off on four depravity. All right, and that is six saves? Yep. So these are fives. And uh, no fives. So that will pop a dune in half. 
How many wounds do they have each? Four. Okay. Spirit of the Wind is going to take the same shots. So, into them. Uh, twos by threes. Would you like a hit roll, senor? I would. I would like a hit roll. All right. Hey, thanks. D3 mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds on the Spirit of the Wind. And he has a five aboard. Saved one. So, one wound on him. And so that gives me one more dice. One more hit back. So that's four hits, and now three is to wound. So three wounds, negative two rend. Two rend, so sixes. Save one. Okay, two go through at D3 damage. So two, three more damage. So that'll pop another guy. Okay. At the end of the shooting phase, I'm going to run away, as I like doing, and... Zoom, zoom. He'll go hide back here. Make sure you take your wound with you. Uh, and, and his other courts, and the other courts. I, I earned that wound. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did, you did. <laughs> All right, um, so that's shooting. Uh, no melee, no charges. You don't want to go for a 12-inch charge? I, nope, I don't. <laughs> Okay. And uh, that's the end of Lumineth turn one. So I get my battle tactic. I have the one objective. So and, I get. And you hold more. And I hold more. So I got four. Yep, four. So it's going to be Lumineth uh, four points to Slanesh zero going into Slanesh round one or turn one. Yep. <laughs>
And then we will go to movement, and I'll show you where everything ends up. I forgot to use the Fane during my hero phase, so I tried to use it on Glutose like I had originally intended, and I rolled a 1. That's <laughs> what you get for forgetting. Yeah, so you know you forget things and it, it doesn't work, so that's just uh, the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose. Um, does a 1 do anything? Do I take a mortal wound? Um, no, you take the mortal wound if you don't roll a 1, <laughs> but then, huh. you get, then you get the plus 1 to wound. <laughs> So I had to double check that ruling real quick. Otherwise, everything just kind of moved up. I used my two command points to auto six the demonettes because they run in charge, so I have a four inch charge into them. You had redeployed off of the slick blades because I moved glutose first, then I moved the slick blades, then he redeployed, he got five, so shot back really far. Still only a seven inch charge for both of these just because of the terrain placement and whatnot. He couldn't get quite to the eight inch charge area. Um, everything else just moved into range Rolled some runs, rolled some runs, screening here, these guys here, they're going to hold the objective, all the demons go and charge over there. I'm um, going to try and charge with these two and we've got some stuff to shoot. These guys are in range of either one of those targets, they're in range of them, so we're going to start here. So it's going to be threes and fours, it'll be 21 shots. They're going into the foxes? Yep. Um, I'll use the free command point from the garrison or to... threes and threes? Double check. Because they changed their war scroll from per four. So they still get the plus one to wound. So yeah, it's threes and threes. Okay. So you're all at defense? Yep, all at defense. Free one from cool. the shrine. Okay, that is a lot of ones. Wow. That is a lot of ones. And twos. I was about to say, you got a good amount of twos in there. It's... Oh. <laughs> it's like half the dice <laughs> on a three. <laughs> I'll take it. Good start. <laughs> All right, uh, not bad on the wound roll, eight. so I made up for it. So uh, eight at negative one. All right, so five up goes oh, to... Oh, and I have one more, sorry. It's 21 because of the leader, so these, that's 20 dice. So hits, wounds, so add one. Nine? Yes. All right, so five up goes to four up, with the run goes back to five up. And I save one. So one, two, three, four left, or four died. Oh, wow. That so. might actually screw me over. <laughs> they did too good. They did a good job. Uh -oh. I'll take it. They did too good of a job because now I'm not in range here. And uh, I have Glutos, though. So I, I forget Glutos has a shot now. So let's shoot it. Um, let's see. What's that range of that charge? That's a nine and a half. I'm going to try and get it with Glutos. That's nine. Oh, I moved them, but you're um, nine away. Uh, so what's Glutos' oh, shot profile? Oh, I gotta offer you a temptation first, so you could have a wound back. Would that bring a guy back? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna offer you that. Do you want the D3 mortal wounds, or do you want to give me the depravity and take the save? Glutose, so is, two, glutose is twos and twos, no run, six damage. Twos and twos, no run, six damage. It's one shot. Uh, so if I take that, I bring a guy back, and I have three wounds, and I take D3 mortals, and then... Well, you wouldn't take the mortals. Oh, no, no. You'd give me the depravity if you get the guy. Yeah. Otherwise, you take the mortals. Yeah. Well, then you're close around the charge. Yes, that's my point. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead. Take it. I'll take put the it. depravity? Yeah. I mean, the hard part is I already took the guys off. So I had them four in a row. I think I had you, a guy like did, right yeah. around there. You did. Yeah. It's, I'm good with it. If yeah. You're good with it. Sorry about the ordering there. I only get one to Prathy, so not so bad. I'm up to five. Still a nine there. So I'm going to shoot you with Glutos. Um, I'm going to hope to God I don't roll one. I'm going to use their left ether quartz because they're probably going to die if I don't. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm already all out defended and yeah. you're no rend. Yeah, it's no rend. So. Hits. Wounds, yes. Four, four <laughs> up. Got it. Oh, come got on. It. Whew. Dang it. Uh, okay, well, let's keep shooting. So, um, I'm going to shoot at the... Does the Light of Altharian have a ward? No. doesn't have a ward. Um, it's just ethereal. Is it a 3-up or a 4-up save? He's a 3-up ethereal. Um, I did not get the ward bubble off. Okay, so, so I'm just going to shoot at the twins. I know they have the ward. They have a 5-up ward. Um, I feel like I'll do more damage to them than I will to the light. Um, Either way, so... Threes. Um, 
I haven't used ether quartz yet in the shooting phase, so mm -hmm. I'm going to. What, they have nice. one run, right? Uh, yeah, they're one run. So I'm going to use their ether quartz. So the leader missed um, the hit and the wound. Well, it hit missed on the wound. It got the hit. Um, these are the rest. So that is seven, negative one. Okay, seven, negative one. So they are three up. Um, so the other courts cancels that out, so they're still at three up. Uh, one goes through, <laughs> and then five up ward. So that one goes through. All right. Other unit of archers in the corner shooting at the knights. So threes. Um, this is a miss. I'm going to roll the leader's shot. That one hits. I'm going to pull these. These are the hits. And wins. Uh, that was a good roll. That was a good roll. Five, ten. And I already all out defended. I already used my ether quartz, so I just actually have to roll dice. Um, four up armor goes to a five up. Uh, saved one, so I guess that cancels I will out offer you a temptation. Ones. Let me see my casualties. One, two, three, four. With one wound on one guy left, um, that will save me one. If I don't take it, then I take mortals. Yeah. Which is bad for me. Um, if I have one guy left, that would give you a seven inch charge, and you reroll all your charges. Yes, because of the sun faction. So you're going to have around a 70% chance of making that. Um, um, not going to matter. Um, yes, I'll take the dice. Okay, so, so depravity. One again. Ooh, Slanesh cooking on depravity here. Okay. So I lose... I got one guy left who's my champion sitting in the back. Cool. He's chilling with his arcane bolt. The all important uh, charge oh, no. phase here. So here's a question. Yeah. He has arcane bolt, less than five wiz models or three models, so he's no longer a wizard, but arcane bolt is on him. I would say it's already stored up. Okay. I don't know the actual answer, but if anybody watching knows the answer, feel free to comment. We're going to play it like it's still there. Okay. Because you, you got it when you cast it. Yep. That's how I think so. Uh, let's start with the slick blades on the left. We get to reroll all charges. So here we go. An eight? Is that enough? I don't remember. No, nope, it's exactly nine. So try it again. Come on, nine. Eight. Nine. Got the nine. There yep, you that go. Was, he made you agree it. That's yeah, flat? that's okay. flat. That's okay. flat. You're in. <laughs> Somehow balanced between the two bases. <laughs> You're in. And my hopes and dreams of surviving with those foxes is gone. Yeah, no, they're, they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you want to unleash hell? Oh, no, you redeployed. You can't. Yep. Yeah, I was corrected on that on another game because I forgot that you can't do that because I don't play shooting units a lot <laughs> until I played KO, and KO didn't really have any of those issues in those games. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to roll one for Glutos and see what happens. A 10? Do I want it, though? I mean, it technically gets there, but I don't know that I want to be in the face of all that and you're minus to your move on Altharion. Yeah, I don't think I want to overextend yet. I'm doing good. They got in, so they'll be able to take care of that unit to get my battle tactic. So I really just want to go with these uh, demonets here. So I'm not going to use that charge. I'm going to go with the demonets. So a three will three. not do it. Nope. Eight will do it. I cool. think we were seven away. So. Yep, we get there. So, um, gonna get that and go to combat. We'll be back after I move twenty demon nuts. <laughs> right. So, start of the phase. He's going to unleash his heroic arcane bolt into the horde of demons before he dies. Three mortals. Hey. I'll take it. Three is three. Not half bad. All right. All right, so we're going to start with the Slick Blades because that's my battle tactic. And I'm going to just come here. Yep. It should drag that in. Yeah, because otherwise I would just pile out with the foxes. 
Yeah, well, that too, because you don't have to pile in closer. Yeah. Um, Still I actually don't know that I want to take any damage at all, so I'm going to stay outside that. I'd rather be able to charge next turn, I think, if I get the double. So I'm going to stay outside of combat there. Cool. Okay. All right, so all three are in. Obviously, they're all allocating to them. I'm going to do Ether Quartz and spend a command point for all that defense. Okay. I'm going to attack. <laughs> I, I realize this makes no difference, but it's also the bottom of one. I'm going to lose all those things anyways. <laughs> right. Um, do they have a wounds characteristic of three or less? They do. They're two. I get plus one attacks to the glaives only. So it'll be three extra attacks. So it'll be threes and threes. All right. Um, also, this is my euphoric killers target for my depravity which is kind of sucks because in both of these cases, either way, like I'm only going to be able to get a max of three depravity because I'm I've already done wounds to you. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you have so far five, six saves at negative two rend, and then I have the tongues. So okay. go ahead and make those saves. The six at negative two. So that yep. cancels everything else. So I'm back to fives. And they're dead. Cool. Don't have to roll that. So then you got your horsey over there. Yep. I believe so that's the uh, correct terminology, right? Horsey. The, the horsey. And as usual, the horsey always does more damage than the rider. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so... Uh, as it should be. <laughs> so he'll be using Deathly Furrows, spend his Ether Quartz before he dies to do plus one attack, or sorry, plus one to hit. Um, so it's the champion, so I'll start off with the sword. Well, I didn't realize the demonets get plus one to their charges now. The banner used to be reroll, now it's plus one. Oh, there you go. Uh, which is actually really good in God Seekers with the reroll yeah. built in. Yeah, so you're rerolling and you get the plus one. That's yeah. a, that's and it's a plus good. one to run too, so I actually would have been a three inch charge originally. So, yeah. Because I should have been 13 instead of 12. Yeah. Oh, but I don't get the plus one because I auto sixed. I think that's how that works. But anyway, go ahead and go do your attacks. All right, so the sword, um, there are one wound each on the demonettes, right? Yep. So plus two attacks. So I'm at twos by fours with the ether quartz on the sword. Uh, they have the greater power of hitch, so mortals on fives. So two mortals. Um, let me double check that the sun metal weapon counts for the sword or is it just a lance? Unmodified hit. Um, did you miss any hit rolls? I missed two. Uh, oh, no, no, I have, me a mortal, uh, I, have I have not. Um, they just were mortals because you're not minus one to hit. No, not yet. So they, they both hit. Okay. Um, I'm just double checking whether or not the guardian sword is a sun metal weapon. But it says if the unmodified hit roll is a six. So and it doesn't affect the mounts. So so two mortals and then two hits and then okay. these are the wounds four up. So two mortals, one at What's one rend. The, the one rend. And you still have a horse to attack, right? Uh, he has his lance and the horse. Oh, lance. And, there's a sword and a lance? Yep. And a horse? Yeah. Wow. They gave the champion the lance and the sword and the horse. That's cool. Okay. So three saves at one uh, round. So two are mortals. Oh, so two mortals and one save? Two mortals and one save at one round. So miss the save. So three damage so far. All right. Now the lance. Um, twos by fours. Missed one. Um, I will offer you a temptation. If I don't take it and I die, do I still get to finish out? Yeah, I used to get to finish your attacks. Yeah, I might as well do that because I'm going to die anyways. So you're going to take the mortals? Yeah, I'll take the mortals. So you'll take three mortals. So, so when you're done attacking, he's dead. So two hits, one wound, and no rend. This is safe. And then the horse. Um, uh, threes by fours. One, no rent. That's that save too. That horse did a lot of damage. Yep. And then he dies. Yep. But he took out uh, eight. Yeah. Wow. Eight. It's pretty good. Um, I still get to pile in. Yep. So gonna do your pile in. Just need to end closer, so I'm just gonna kind of shift everything this way a little bit, and that'll be closer to the closest model, which is him. Yep. So that'll just kind of shift everything onto the objective. Uh, obviously, I hold the objective. I scored my battle tactic just barely. A little worry there. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't. 
Um, but that will give me um, four points as well. So it'll be a tie ball game. I need to roll battle shock for them. They get to re-roll a failed battle shock. So it's three plus eight, which would be one run running because they're bravery ten. So I will take the one running. It's not bad. One don't, little don't horse wanna, took out nine. Don't want to take a chance that I roll <laughs> higher than that. Yeah, that's <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, that's not bad. You still got half the unit left. So tie ball game and the priority roll. I got a one. Three. All right. Well, the choice will be yours, so we'll come back and let you know what Andrew decided. All right. All right, so uh, Lumineth are going to take the turn. Um, at the start of the turn, you choose what you're going to activate. I'm going to activate mine. And then uh, we already did it off camera, the God Seekers in between rounds movement thing. I got a one for the number of units, so I picked them, and then I rolled a one. So that's why they don't look like they moved, <laughs> but they did. They did, they did. Um, and I'm going to do for a battle tactic, eye for an eye. Uh, so that way I'll get... Um, Hopefully that will be a relatively easy one. That makes sense. Um, and then heroic. heroic actions. I'm going to do on the twins. I'll do. Uh, try to get a command point. You I do. Try and get a command point from the big man himself. I do not. Okay. I'm putting the one for the twins here just to remind me that okay. it's different. Um, start of your hero phase, I'm going to try and rally the demonites. Okay. So they do rally on fives now, which is cool. There's not much left in this book that does anything like that, so at least they got to keep it. So it'll be nine dice. So. Uh, two. You got two back. All right, continue, sir. All right. I'm going to start with the small unit, actually. I'm going to start with the Venari Lord Regent uh, doing the greater power of Hish. Gets plus one to this, so he gets that off on a seven. Okay, so let me double check, that one might be an eight. Uh, that's a seven. Okay, so I will use the mirror to try and unbind that. I get a nine. You do, so that stops that. Um, the small unit of spearmen are going, wardens, sorry, are going to cast protection of Hish. They got spears. You can call them this, spearmen. They, they're pikes. They're long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seven. Is that one an eight? Um, that's an eight. Okay. So I will use an ether course Bumping to get that one off. Yep. I will use and the mirror she will drain it to try and, and transfer it. it to them. Okay. Oh, no. It's a five. Minus one bravery. Not that it really matters, but... Um, so they have a bubble, a ward bubble around them. I'll use that to mark that. Um, the large unit of, of wardens are going to cast Power of Hish. They get that off on an eight. Uh, the large group? Yep. Um, you still have total eclipse and then I have one, else. two, three, four more spells. Too many spells. Um, I feel like I care about that because you're eye for an eye. And it's a, how much? Eight? Would you roll? Uh, yeah, eight. Yeah. Um, uh, come on. I wish it was slower because I only have two more unbinds. All right. Or did I try three? You tried twice, so you got two more. I got two more. Yeah, you, you failed the other one. Yep. That's right. Okay. Um, man. That was a good one to get on that particular unit. Uh, I'm going to let it go. I don't think I can get an 8. Like, I need to get a 9, you know? All right. So, so I'd rather try and unbind something else. Uh, power of Hish. He, he's not powered of Hish, so that'll go away. All right. Um, the, she is going to use her once per game ability to do Solar Eclipse on a 9. Solar Eclipse? Does anybody else have total eclipse? Or sorry, total eclipse. Oh, total eclipse. Sorry, not solar okay. flare. Total okay. eclipse. Well then, yeah, I'm gonna try and unbind it. Nope. Okay. So. All right. I'll give you your. There you go. Your token back. My token. Um. I'm gonna see when my artifact goes off. You can keep going though. 
For the twins' first spell, they're going to cast the Rune of Petrification on a 6-7. I don't think that goes off. Um, 7 seems like it would. I don't think, I think that one's an 8. Yeah, that's an 8. Okay. Um, they will use the Shrine ability to re-roll that because they did the plus 1 from the Aether Quartz. Yep. So, um, so on a 6-7, so nope, that doesn't go off. So that's fine for their first spell. Um, she will cast Speed of Hish for the second one. On a, that's a unfortunate. I already used all my abilities to reroll, so I take the damage. Uh, D3. Do they have a ward anymore? They do oh, because they, of, because yeah. of that one. So they take two, ward is a five up, and so they stop they them take both. Them, so it didn't matter. Good job, good job. <laughs> that was the plan, that was the plan. Good time, sir. Wind Mage is going to do Wind Blast Vortex, his War Scroll spell, on a seven. Is that your last spell? She has one more. Okay. What's her last one? Um, I can do Darkness of the Soul, or I can do Overwhelming Heat. Okay. And then what's the Wind Blast thing do? Um, it's uh, I can shoot it in the shooting phase, and it can do Mortals. On a one, it doesn't do anything. On a Two through four. Oh, other they simplified it. Uh, two up, it does D three mortals. Oh, that's it. So it's just D three mortals. D three mortals on a two what up. Is, I have to ask, what is Darkness of the Soul and the other one? Darkness of the Soul is the one where pick a unit within eighteen, roll under their. If you roll over your bravery, you can't do anything. Oh yeah, I'm gonna um, save it then. Go ahead. And then the overwhelming heat has a twenty four inch range and that has movement. Yeah, I'll wait. Go ahead. Okay. So the, bl right. the blast is good. Blast is good, so that'll be his blast. And then his final trick will be Overwhelming Heat. He gets that off on an 8. Use my last Unbind. Yep. That's a no. Got a 5. Uh, Sigvald. Yep. Uh, 24. Oh, yeah. Yep. So Sigvald has that. Um, and then I have two in addition. Um, so he has half move characteristics until my next hero phase. Roll a dice if it's equal to or greater than the save. So three. That's his save. So it's he takes. To. So he takes D three mortals. Oh wow! One mortal. Uh, ignores on a four. Roll two. Right in the face. Right in the kisser. Yeah. All right. So that is the hero phase. All right. So we're going to the uh, good old movement phase. Yep. All right, so um, first thing, uh, the Wind Mage is going to throw his Wind Blast Vortex. Um, in the shooting phase, pick one enemy unit within nine inches. So I'll target them on a two up. Hey! The, yep, so it's a one. that matches your one. So, yep. you know, life's good. We're even now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Eltharion. What's the range on his ability? 18 inches. Pretty long. Yeah. How many wounds does Sigvald have? Six. Six left? Mm -hmm. Four upward. You don't have any healing outside of your normal heroic no. healing? Just the heroic stuff. All right. He'll, uh, he'll throw the searing darts of light at uh, Sigvald. Dart me. So, all right. Block up my shield. Roll on a two, D3 mortals. So, three mortals. All right, fours. Come on, Siggy, you got your shield. You can do it. Uh, Two of them. Hey, one, one. one goes through. I'll take it. Um, well, actually, Siggy, you'll take it. No. <laughs> Siggy will take it. All right. So that's that. Um, she's not going to shoot her once per game bolt. So that will leave these foxes here to shoot next they're all going to shoot into the slick blades have you ever seen his his, his butt flap under here <laughs> <laughs> he's uh he's happy Sh should i turn him around for the darts <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right well that's where that one went <laughs> all right so i got uh 10 shots from them into them um plus one for the champion so 11 shots they are going to spend their ether quartz to give them plus one to hit any all-up defense? Yeah, with all my command points. <laughs> you got one oh, we you could guys use. Can see, I, I used my command point, both of them, because of Total Eclipse, oh. to redeploy that unit. Oh, that's right, that's right. So, Which, 
In hindsight, didn't do a whole lot. No. Uh, all right, so the bows are twos by threes. Um, ah, you got a one in there. I did get a Would one you in like there. Another hit roll. No, you can have depravity. Yes. One again. See, this is why you give Man. depravity. You just count. I just want to get to 12. I'm at 10. You've given me three depravity dice, and I've gotten three depravity. I love it. I love it. Is this the big brain play? This, this is the strategy. Have your opponent roll low. Threes. Uh, and then you roll high. Wow. Uh, so nine at one rend, one damage. Sixes. Save two. I have one wound left. Oh, on one, actually, sorry. One guy dies, and then I have one left on one other guy. Okay. What's this? The minus one bravery. Oh. Not that it really yeah, matters. You're down to bravery yeah, nine. I think you're going to kill them anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um, Spirit of the Wind's going to shoot at him. He's got four shots, twos by threes. Would you like one? Yes. Yeah. I'll turn that into a five. So D3 mortal wounds. Yep. Three. Ah. Uh, five aboard. Save two of them, <laughs> so he'll take one. Okay, I'm doing it. How's, how's that depravity working out for you it's so great. far? It's this a great game. mechanic. I love interrupting your flow every yeah. minute. Yeah, uh, those are my hits. These are my threes. Wow, one. That was a four. Two run, right? Yes. No save. Two run, D three damage. So three. One, two, three. Two wounds left. Right. Um, hmm. Right. So that is it for. Is that hero shoot? No. He should. You know, he look. He's looking all cool. Looks like he shoots. He's on a cloud. Right. <laughs> the rest of the Huracan army shoots. He should. You know. It's kind of weird. He doesn't shoot. He has a fan that can redirect missiles. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so he should just redirect it. <laughs> all right. So that's that. Uh, charging. Um, charge with the Venari Lord Regent first. Do the twins shoot? They have a once per game, once per game shot that thing? goes like 12 inches in a row, uh, and it goes mortal wounds based on the turn number. Okay. So I will not be doing that one. Makes sense. Um, so, actually, I'm going to charge with the, yeah, with the Venari Lord Regent first. You did it! Eight. Oh. Nope. So he's going into the demonettes. Yeah. It's around a 10, I think. Yeah, 9, 10. Yeah. So he's just going straight there to the demonettes. He's going to have a good time. Twins are going to charge. I was really hoping that wow. I would roll a 3 and then put you or put me on a minus 1 to hit a form me wide, but it didn't happen. 9. Mm. So 9 would put you here if you want to go here yeah. or into the demonettes. The problem is on turn 2, they kind of suck. So he's going to go here. Um, we had measured before that at that combat he stays within range of the caster to be able to benefit from the ward. So I'll keep him there so he can, they can keep that five inch ward. Cool. Let me move their ether course with them. Can finish within a half inch. So you're yep. good. Um, he can't make it because he's half charges. You run, you ran. And I ran because I knew I couldn't make it. So see, see, yeah. I'm thinking I got a half inch on my run. Look at um, the big brain on my head. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, a little, little Pulp Fiction reference yeah. from, to light, light up, light in the evening. These guys, they're going six. They're not going into glutose, but they are going into um, that small little guy. Go that. I'll let you go into glutose and leave my slick blade alone. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to be able to basically. They're just gonna slide on over. Oh, I totally forgot that you're within 12 of Glutose and he should have been minus one to hit. Is anything within 12 is minus one to hit. Oh, I don't even remember what we rolled. It doesn't matter. I, I missed it a long yeah. time ago. Sorry, and I know you told me that too. I yeah. just slipped my we mind. We both forgot. Yeah. No big deal. All right, so those guys are over there. They're there, life's good. Um, Oh, I forgot to move him at the end of the movement phase, or and shooting phase. Shoot. Yeah, go ahead. So, apologize for that. And of course, um, he's How not... How terrible of you. I know. I'm very offended. So, 
he's gonna take a nice cinematic pose up here. It's the perfect kind of pose. Yep. The unfortunate part is this guy just snapped off his base. Uh oh. So we'll just leave the cloud there. The cloud surfer um, isn't gonna be cloud surfing. But well, thankfully we have some. This stand has always glue. caused me problems. You want to so. try? Uh, maybe in between turns we can try while you're doing your movement, maybe. Okay. Um, and then I'm not going to have them charge in. I don't think they need to. Cool. All right. So that is charging. Combat. Combat. Where are you going to start? What's his, their attack profile? Uh, plus one attacks because of the stuff going on with the wounds because you're under three wounds so uh, it'll be five attacks on the glaive threes and threes negative two one damage and then two attacks with the tongue threes and fours one damage so yeah. could do up to seven if everything went through and you missed all your saves well, i guess i don't really need to declare the second attack my first one's going to be the venari lord regent i don't need to declare the second one right now yep so um, cool. in tandem fighting yep Gotta love it. So, all right. Uh, so, Venari Lord Regent's gonna attack first with his sword. He doesn't have power of Hish on him. So, he is twos by threes. He's outside of the bubble. Yep. So, I'll hit. So, no dice from you. Not yet. Threes. No, no, now it, now it comes out. Um, Do you want it? I think he's outside of that. Yeah, he's outside because I moved him in more. Um, yeah, and you get two more and you get minus one to hit army wide, right? Yeah. So, no, you do not get the depravity. D3. One. So. And then I have three saves. What's the rend? No, uh, sorry. Here. One run, two damage. Make one. Let's take four. Then the light courser. I always forget what that animal's called. He is threes by fours. And uh, there we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'm not too concerned. I'll, I'll go with these guys next. Okay. I want to make sure I... These, Should be able to get the whole thing. These in. spears I mean, are inch, fantastic. Three inch range, right? Yeah. It's got to pile go. in, slide these guys around. Same with. I'm just going to, those guys are sliding over slightly and these guys are moving up. So. In a normal army, I would probably just pull, but. And just not make you roll, but if you miss a hit roll, I'm gonna offer you a temptation. So <laughs> <laughs> you are minus one to hit because of two tips. Yes, because it's just within. It's not wholly within. Just within. And it's the unit. It's not by model, right? Yep. Okay. So I got five, ten, fifteen, Nineteen, because of course the champion has a different weapon profile. Would want it to be too easy. I yeah, know, right? All right, so threes by fours, mortal. That's with the minus one. Nope, fours by fours, mortals on fives. So one, two, three, four, five mortals. So I accomplished my goal. You're offering me a dice. Um, I will take mortals so you don't get your depravity. Then I take three mortals, um, and your guy dies. Yep. Only reason I didn't just pull him right off the bat was because I wanted to do some mortal wounds to you. Yep. Man, look at this. I'm breaking all my models. Uh-oh. That's what I get for getting impatient and just pulling it. Snatching them out of there. All right, so let's go with the demon nuts. Yep. Should be able to get the whole unit in. Good old pile in. He's got to go this way. It's got to go that way. Let's go 
in that way. So we got one, two, three, four, five into that dome, the, yep. the mounted one. Yep. And you're minus one, one to hit. And then four into the other one. Minus, minus one to hit? Minus one to hit against the mounted guy. Okay, so I've got four into the twins, five into the other one. The leader is the one that's going into the twins. So let's roll some demonet attacks. Two attacks apiece, threes and fours. Nothing else special. Plus one for the leader. So we'll do the twins first. Um. So that was... Four plus the leader. And we got one left. I'm going to spend a command point for the twins for all of defense. Okay. So threes. That was a good roll. Missed when they had exploding sixes. <laughs> Fours. Another good roll. I'll take it. Five at negative one. Five at negative run, so that cancels out. So I'm at a three up with a five aboard. Failed two. Um. Yeah, I might as well keep using my depravity dice. I'll make the offer. Let's see, you're at 10 right now, right? Yep. So you're going to roll another one. So I will take that. So okay. you get depravity. Hey, ah. got a four. Finally got there. Back Too fired. little, too late. <laughs> so one goes through with a, my five aboard. Saved it. Okay, I think you've made every ward save on this I've, so far. <laughs> I'm happy with it. They got two wounds, so they failed a couple. But. All right, into the uh, other guy. You said minus one to hit, right? Yep. So this will be fours and fours. Fours. So it'll be four, four. and negative one. Uh, so three up goes to a four up. So he takes three. Use my last one. <sighs> I like him. It's just one. But then I take mortals. Yeah, and you take three plus D3 mortals. All right, I'll take it. So you get depravity, so I'll just take two. A three. So I'm up to 17. Okay. One shy. This <laughs> has been my life today. One shy, uh, oh no, it's 24, not 18. I was thinking it was one shy, it's 18, but it's 24 for the mortals. So, okay. Right. Uh, the twins get to attack with their great turn two attack profile. Um, so, thanks. The owl will attack first. Um, they're not, I am minus one now. You are. So, fours by threes. Hits. Does not wound. Good job, owl. The minus one worked. <laughs> the, the wizard staff is fours by threes now. Missed again. Uh-oh. All right, now the actual weapon um, of the guy. He becomes threes by threes. See, that one made it. That yeah, would have yeah, hit. Yeah, that yeah, would have no, hit. No, that worked. Uh, three at two rend. Oh, wow. Two rend, two um, damage. They're five up safe, so it just goes through. So six damage then, total. Dang. Two, three, four, five, Six. We'll keep the reroll battle shock thing. Um, so I lost six plus three, so I lost nine. So this turn. Yeah. So battle shock because there's nothing else to do, right? Yep. Three, nine, twelve. I lose two more. So we'll keep the leader around. Ooh, caught on here. Fancy. The magical sail. ward. Was that what that is? I just always thought it was like a sail, like a sailboat. Oh. There you go. It's <laughs> flying them along. They're slow. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So you don't hold the objectives. I don't hold the one. objective. Um, well, no, I don't hold Because I got five there. I got plus, four. Plus that. Yeah. So I don't hold the objectives. I got my battle tactic, though. Yep. So, so I got two points. Two points. So it's six to four. Yep. Go, um, going second on this round is an advantage. I'm not sure I made the right choice by going first. Yeah, that's that's why I brought it up because this is the weir one of the weird battle yep. plans where necessarily like b keeping turn order doesn't always mean something. Yep. Now, if you had given me the turn, I still would have held that. Objective, you still would have held that one. But then you probably would have picked your own, and I wouldn't have held that one. So. But I would probably be in a very different position over here. Yep. With the slick blade, slick blade. Yeah, so seekers. I don't, I don't know that it was an easy decision either way, yeah. or which one was right or wrong. Um, I don't think 
that you were necessarily in the best position because I got to choose yep. to go second in the first battle round, which is a big deal on the prize. Yep. Lot. So uh, let's uh, come back with uh, turn two for Eden Knights. All right, so Slanesh turn two. Battle tactic is going to be eye for an eye. My heroic action is going to be to heal Sigvald, so I'm going to roll for that now. Um, I got a 7, which I believe is under his bravery. I don't actually know what his bravery is. I don't do that one very often. What's your heroic action? I'm going to do heroic it is, so D3. leadership on He'll the twins. It. They do not get it. Okay. Uh, one command point that is completely useless for, for the turn. <laughs> Uh, Glutos will select himself with his ability to heal, and then do I use my... I have the artifact that lets me once per game, at the start of my hero phase, be able to give commands for free for the turn. And this may be the turn to do it, simply because... I don't know why. Actually, I don't think it is. If I get the double, that would be the time to do it. If I don't get the double... And I'll just use it later in round three when it really, really matters to push things through. Mm -hmm. So I um, think that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. So for the rest of my hero phase, we have some spells to cast. So do I need these 12 inches? Yeah. So we're going to try for the spell portal again. So I get to reroll. I'm not going to reroll because it's a set. Um. Would you like to unbind my spell? Yeah, I, would, I would like to. The question is, do I want to go with the plus one or the no benefit but the potential reroll? Yeah. Um, because you're, you're in range there for sure. And there. there. So yeah. It's up to you. I'm, I'm going to sure go with... I think this... I just need an eight, so I'll go with her. Well, I got rolled, it. You rolled an 11. So no spell portal. No uh, shenanigans with that stuff. Um... Let's go Glutos. We're going to do Progeny of Damnation. I, I, don't, I don't think I care about that this turn. Let's go with Mystic Shield to start. I'll get that on a 7. Uh, twins will unbind that. They get plus 1. Got it on. No, you got it off. Cool. I got a 7. Put it back on him. And then let's go the War Squirrel spell from the Mirror. I'm not going to try to reclude that. Got that on a seven. Um, they'll try it again on a plus one. So six, seven. You got it off again. Cool. So that's 24 inch range. I believe it's D3 units. I think it's still the same. Yeah, so D3 enemy units. So one enemy unit. And I will get plus one to wound rolls for attacks that target that unit. So let's go with the big unit of wardens. Okay. So I will be plus one to wound against them until my next hero phase. So that was two spells here. Um, that was Mystic Shield here, so I have one more spell. Whoops. Better not keep punching the table. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Glutos will do the War Scroll spell. Uh, that is a six. So I don't think it goes off. I think it's a seven. So if that is true, then I believe that is the end of my hero phase. Yes, that fails. Um, round two, he's running and charging. Okay. Because he gets better as he goes. All right. He eats. Yeah. Let's see what happens after movement. All right. So, movement. Glutos went over here, got a six on the run, so I went 14. You got a big redeploy. I'll take it. I've been practicing. Another yeah. five. Yeah, another five. Uh, Sigvald has half move, so it went three inches. Still have a decent shot at a charge there. It's either a, a nine or a ten. Uh, it's definitely a ten, so that'd plus be, three means a seven. That'd be, right. a, that'd be a good fight up, right? Yeah. Sigvald versus Altharion? Yeah, I mean, that's what I want to do, so <laughs> I hope I get it. It'll be fun. Um, I, I do ignore... He doesn't have a ward, though. Or he does, because he's within range. Because he's within so range. He so. ignores that, at least. But you'll ignore my rent, so... Yep. Not sure it's smart, but I'm going to try it anyway, because why not? Uh, these things just all shifted. To, we're going to try and shoot that thing off, and then they're going to shoot at them. So let's go to uh, shooting. We'll start with that. Um, this unit, shooting into him. Am I minus anything? Other than Lord Regent? Yeah. Uh, you are minus one to hit against him. Okay. So it'll be 21 shots. And, and be... he's going to spend 
Command point or um, ether quartz. What's your rend? One. One rend. I'll spend the ether quartz. And he already has three wounds on him. And as intimidating as he looks, he only has six wounds. Okay. So he's going to all out defense too. All right. So this will be fours and threes because of the minus one to hit. That actually looks like a good roll. Not half bad. All right. And threes. And then I have one more dice for the leader. Fours. Nope. Okay. So that is eight. Eight. Five, six, seven, eight. So he is, because of the two bonuses, he's up to a two up. Okay. I actually think I have one more. I failed one. Okay. I don't have any more things, so. Okay. Just take a damage. So. I found another HGD dice hiding over there, so I now have 21. So I don't have to do that anymore. Okay. So he's got four wounds on him, so he's got two left. Okay. Um, this unit instead is going to shoot at them because he's all buffed. Okay, so minus one for... So minus one, so it'll be fours and threes. All right. That was an even better roll. Got another two in there. Yep. Got them all? Yep. yep. Okay. And threes. So that is five, ten. Oh. Yeah, not bad on... Not fours bad. And so three. Except for earlier. So, so you said 10? Yes. So four goes to a five up. There's no bonuses on them, but they do have the ward. So uh, I'll take that. Three. Then... Just three of them? Yep. So they'll take two. Wow. Because they got the ward. Good roll. Made up for my good roll. Um, I forgot to mention the Fane. I used it on Sigvald in between during movement. Forgot to do it again in the hero phase. Uh, he did get it and he did ignore the wound. So he's got plus one to wound. All right, and then this last unit of archers is going to shoot at. I was going to shoot at them. I put the plus one wound on them, but I forgot the plus one wound doesn't affect them because this thing gives them plus one wound, so they mm, can't actually they have it from it. Yeah. Which was why I did it in the first place because my intention was to shoot to them with, and get better wounding, but that didn't work out because of things and stuff. So we're going to shoot at, at that thing instead. So okay. um, so he's not a behemoth, so we would get the cover. Okay. So minus one. So it'll be plus one to save. Plus one to, yes, you're correct. The garrison is minus one to yep, save. Yep, you're right. I got it. All right. So um, no minuses to hit, right? Correct. So threes and threes. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so uh, another five, ten. Ten. Alright. So five ten. So uh the cover and the rend cancel each other out. So five up armor, five up rend. Or five up armor, five up ward. Yeah. Not as good as last time. It just means uh, my wards are going to be better. <laughs> uh, not by much. Five. And, and so... How many was there already on? He had two on him, so that brings him up to seven. So he's got one left. Oh, man. All right. Uh, man, I wanted to knock him off and then he shoot close. them with Glutose. Which I think I'm going to shoot them with Glutose anyway. So it's one shot. So it's going into the foxes. So Kay. twos, hits, and twos. Wounds. No right. Uh, five up. Let me get these out of the way. Got him. So What's damage. Six. I thought, <laughs> it was, I thought it was D6. No, it's six. <laughs> All right. Well, in that case. Glutose is so much better than he used to be. <laughs> I'll just take from this side. Now, I don't know if he's going to make a charge, but uh, I should be able to get the wind fox, even, yep. even if I can't get over to where I wanted to go. Yeah. All right. You'll, you'll get in somewhere. You're re-rolling charges, too. Yeah, so charging. We're going to go Sigvald first. Okay. Because that's the more cinematic one that we have over Yep. There. Seven or eight? Was it seven that's or eight? It. That's a seven plus that's, three is ten. Well, yep, that was what you needed, right? We measured it. Nine was, we did, but we'll nine was just out. It was nine and a half. Yeah. Like a little over nine and a half. So, yeah. So He's ten, in. Ten gets him in. Cinematic battle. Now, he only gets a seven for his attack characteristic because it's the unmodified roll. Yep. So going with Glutose. 
Uh, a seven. Another seven. I don't think seven gets me to them. No, it needs to be an eight. But a seven will get me here, and then I can just pile into them. Yep. So Because his base is massive. Ginormous. Because he's ginormous. As he should be. But I do want to stay outside of three. Oh, no, I'll get to go one after the other, because Sigvald will strike first. Oh. Because when he charges, he strikes first. He gets first. strikes first? Yeah. Okay. So I'll get to go one after the other. Um, I had contemplated charging with them, but I don't want to lose them. They're holding my objective, so. Yeah, especially I'd be able to swing back first. Yeah, so I'm not going to do that. So just going to go straight to combat. We're going to go with Sigvald first, as he is um, supposed to do. Actually... Mm -hmm. I'm debating if I want to unleash Hell. You good? From the Fox onto Glutos. When does he bracket? How many wounds? Uh, nine. When he takes nine? Yeah, so eight is the end of the bracket. So on nine is when he begins to lose stuff. He'll lose movement and one attack. <laughs> He's much better than he used to be. I can do an all out attack and an all out defense, but I want to save one for Battle Shock. Um, you won't be able to all attack and unleash hell, but... Yeah, no, I'm thinking, like, in my different, because I got two. Oh, gotcha. And I already used the one from here for the redeploy. Yeah, and I'm minus one to hit army-wide, and then minus two for anything that's within 12 of Senor Glutos. So then, yeah, so minus two. So he'd be hitting on fours, then fives. Well, you or... you're capped at minus one. Oh. It just negates all attack. Yeah. I'll do it, because I can use other other cords for other things. So he's going to um, all out attack, or unleash hell, onto Glutos. So that's four. Um, twos by threes goes to threes by threes. Two miss. One, uh, two ren, d3 damage. So three up goes to a five up. Got Six. It. There you go. Um, all right. All right, back to Sigvald. See what happens with the light here. So seven attacks, twos and twos, two damage apiece. Which gets rounded down to one. And, oh, I didn't know that. I might not have said that. Oh, <laughs> you, can, you can take oh, it no, back. It's, you it's can fine. take it back. He's here. They're dueling. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> All right, so twos. And twos. Four go through. Four go through. Negative two run, that doesn't matter. Threes. Two go through, so he takes... Uh, this is where I wish he was D3 damage again, but the two yeah. is better, generally speaking. So So he gets half of that, so he'll take right. two. Pile in with the big man. Spears are in my way. All right. So yeah, they tend to do that. He's just in there. Hopefully that, oh, you don't, he ignores the minuses, doesn't he? He might off, Ignore sig he might off Sigvald right I think, here. I think you probably will. <laughs> this is kind of dumb. Uh, <laughs> I guess I need to declare at the start of the combat phase that yeah. he's targeting Sigvald for his abilities. Right. I'm going to do the uh, gain depravity thing on okay. Plutos into them, hopefully. Um, let me read how the euphoric killers, I think I pick the unit that's doing the damage, but not the unit that it's doing it to. So that sounds right. That sounds right, but I'm not sure. And one enemy unit within one inch, so I wouldn't be able to pick them. I can only pick them, which will severely hamper how much depravity I can get because there's only what two. F yep. Four wounds total. Four, left four there. wounds there. <laughs> That's so bad. I hate that one inch thing. It should be three, because then I could pick them. Yeah. What what you're engaged with, right? Right. Whatever. It is what it is. Um, we're gonna put Glutos. He's got a whole bunch of attacks. I need to kill them off. They're what a five up save? Yeah. Do they still have their aether cords? They have one left. And you have an all out defense. I have a, I have one command point left. All right. We're definitely going to put the three wailing great blades into the foxes. Those are the negative two run, two damage apiece. And we'll put the one damage attacks into them as well. And then we'll put the crushing claws into the big unit. And those will be minus one to hit, right? Okay. So um, is it minus one to hit or is it minus one to wound? Well, for Shining Company? Oh, yeah, Shining Company is minus one to wound. I get plus one to wound against you. That's what I was thinking of. Okay. Because you charged me. Got it. But I'm not minus one to hit against the foxes. Correct, correct. You're normal on the foxes. So, um, do you want to all out defense anything? 
No, but I do want to use their ether quartz to give them um, plus one on their armor. Yep. And then they're going to transfer it over to Glutose, which doesn't really matter. But okay. just to show. What about that? No? Okay. Kill him. So this is going to be, he gets plus one to wound against them, but not them. They've, so said, they've said they're pretty the tech list. Threes they're, and threes. they're ready to die. All it hits with all three. And threes. Get two, so that's four damage. Okay, what's the end? Uh, negative two. So that's the other Yeah, and then the uh, one damage attacks don't mean anything. So those are gone, because I allocated them to them. So I will gain four depravity, which put me to 21. What happens at 24 again? Uh, six is to hit, do a mortal wound in addition, in melee only. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot Mystic Shield when I made Glutose's save earlier. I don't think it mattered because I rolled a six anyway. Yeah, you so. made your saves. He yeah. hasn't taken any damage. Yeah, I've got to remember it. Yep. So this will be fours and twos because of the plus one to wound and the minus one to hit. So yep. <laughs> I think yep. the math all works out the same as threes and threes, even though it feels different. So two hit, one wound, negative two right. That, so that four up goes to a six up, um, and then my ether quartz takes me down to a five up. Saved it. Dang. Okay. Your ether quartz goes away. Your move, sir. All right. Um, I don't think it really matters at this point. The order? Nope. So I'll start with Altharion because he's my friend. Uh, Selenari Blade. Let's see if I shot myself in the foot here. Yeah, probably. Twos by <laughs> th twos by threes. The confidence. <laughs> Sixes explode. So does he ignore the minus one to hit on all of his blades? Ignore, yeah. Supreme Swordmaster, ignore modifiers when making hit rolls for attacks made by the Sweet. unit. Sweet. So, twos by threes, um, sixes explode. No exploding, but both of them go through. That's good for me. Um, threes to wound. Um, one, I think, does the six do something on this one? No, that's the fang sword. So this- um, Rend? Uh, one rend, 2d3 damage. Okay, so let's see if I can roll four. I think I can, I think I can, I can. No, uh, you I cannot. cannot. I can't. 2d3. Six. Six. Nice. All right. Come on, Siggy. I can roll fours here. Can't, you can. I can't roll with one dice. You I can, can do you it can, with six You can roll dice. one four. Uh, I rolled two. So he's got two wounds left. All right. Fink Let sword. Sig to his death. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks cool. It does. It's cinematic, right? Uh, all right. Fink sword. Twos by threes. Again, sixes explode. None of them do. By threes. These sixes do mortals in addition. None of them. Four, three rend. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. I made two saves, though. Uh, What's the three, damage? Three damage each. Oh, okay. I don't think it matters. So six damage. Fours. Um, oh, you almost got it. Almost. You got them. Exactsies. All right. Oh. So uh, I finished piling in the wardens. They're going to swing against Glutose. They're minus one to hit, but they're plus one to wound. So instead of threes by fours, they're now fours by threes. Um, and they have an extra rend because I got charged. So, all right. Uh, just keep flipping the math around. That's, it'll end up all the same. <laughs> all right, all right. Fours by threes, uh, fives do mortals. So I'm going to pull all the mortals out first. I'll reroll that one. Ouch. That's a lot of mortal wounds. Does he have a ward? He does. Five ward. Okay, so those are all that, and then fours by threes, so all the... Alright. Threes. Alright, so four at one rend. Ah! Wow. I missed three of those on a three-up save. <laughs> so that is uh, five, uh, ten, twelve, and I have the champion to attack. So he's also fours by threes. And there you go. So twelve. So five wards. He took way more than I thought he would. Forgot that your uh, mortal wounds just completely ignore all of my buffs. So seven is what he's taking, so ignored a decent amount. Not bad. Um, I didn't even realize this until now. Um, would he be considered engaged at that point because of the height difference? 
Technically, I think he is. I mean, he has a fan. It's not like he's going to do damage. Yeah. yeah. I'm fine with it. I don't remember the rule on that. Yeah. I, th I think you're supposed to measure off of the distance, so I'm, I'm fine with him not attacking. It's something that I... It's like it doesn't come up very often right. in this game, so... So, I don't remember how it's handled. Yeah, it's fine. I don't need to attack top with him. Of my head. He's got a fan. All right. Um, all right. I mean, I'm fine if you want to attack. So it's up to no. you. That's cool. Yeah, I don't want to look it up. So. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the same way. I'm a fan that's going to miss. So I sent Sigvald to his death. So that that wasn't a good plan. I know that now for the future. <laughs> <laughs> Should have uh, asked more questions on how good Eltharian was, but I thought it would be cool. Sorry, I didn't realize. Hey, you know. no, it's not your fault. I, I'm the one who just made the decision. Glutos did not do as much as I wanted him to do and took more damage than I wanted him to take. But, but you did get your battle tactic. Got my battle tactic. I you have both the objectives. You have both your objectives. So I'm going to hold... Uh, you, got you got know, five. Five points. So points-wise, I'm doing great. Yep. It's nine to six. Nine to six. You're in, you're in good shape. Yeah, good shape there. Um, I don't have any battle shock. Do you have battle shock? Um, I do have battle shock on both of these units. They lost three. They lost two. I'm going to spend my last command point... Um, to make them immune, and I'm going to roll for them. Okay. And they're down one, but that was the one that I transferred over to the... Um, the dead unit. The dead unit, whatever they are called. Slick blade scissors. There you go. So they're good. So you're good. Bravery six. So, so now we got a roll off. I got a two. Two. You um, took first, so I you get the decision. So we'll come back uh, once he decides. Yep. <laughs> All right, so Lumineth are taking uh, turn three, um, so you get to pick uh, objective to activate. Bing, bang, boom, right in the middle. So, all right, so we're activating the center. I am going to go with the Lumineth ability Conserve Ether Quartz, and I'm going to choose the Venari Lord Regent and the Demonettes. Okay, what does that do? Um, I need to kill the Demonette unit with the Venari Lord Regent, and I have to have Ether Quartz left over at right. the end of the turn. I am going to rally. I figured. Okay. As long as, long as that was in your calculation. Yep. That's going to be the first thing I do on your turn. Yep. So, got 19 dice. Rallying on fives. I do not have to worry about total eclipse for this. You do not. Yes. All right. Uh, I don't yeah. think it's enough to matter. Six. You got six. Not bad. Not bad. What is your heroic action, sir? My heroic action is going to be heroic healing, which is not the actual name for the ability, but I'm but, going with it. But we know what it means. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so he has a bravery eight, but he used the breath of other course that was not drained, so he has a bravery seven. So I got it on a seven. But I just need to beat it or hit it. Equal or equal two or under. Under. So I heal two. And what is yours going to be? Um, I will... Like, Finest Hour doesn't really matter. Like, they just do mortal wounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's the but, dream. I mean, I'm already Mystic Shielded, so... I'll do another Unbind... Oh, I can't because they're wizards. So I can't use the other Unbind one because you can't give it to a wizard. Um... Hmm. I can't heal because I'm in combat. So I guess it's command point. So I'll do a command point from Glutos. And I will not nope. get it. Alright. Um, spells then. Spell away. Um, <laughs> the twins are going to start off by doing Rune of Petrification. On a five, they don't get that. They're too far away to do a reroll. So there goes that idea. Um, so happy the rune has not come out to play. <laughs> I already took their spell effects off. All right. Um, their second spell is going to be their ward on themselves. Get that off on an 11. You have that. Okay. So that'll be their ward. I'll put this over there to remind me. Venari Lord Regent is going to do Flaming Weapon on a 12. Can't do anything about that. So, um... I'll let put, the fire roar. Let the fire go. They're good. They're good. Um, 
hoping to draw out some dispels by now, but he's going to do Windblast Vortex. You're rolling 12s. <laughs> I know, right? Rolling 10s and 12s. That's, that's my problem. Uh, I'm an 11 for Windblast Vortex. Um, how many more spells do you have? One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay. That will be his magic missile. Um, they're going to do Power of Hish. That's the one I care about. And they can re-roll that from... Actually, I don't think I can. I think only heroes can use it to re-roll. I don't know. I haven't played it in that book enough to know. I'm sorry. I have played Lumineth myself exactly once. I do have a Lumineth army. Got 4,500 <laughs> points that I picked up in a trade. I got rid of my 40k stuff and picked it up. But it is unpainted. I am in the process of painting yep. a lot of armies, so not sure when it'll see the channel. Yep, <laughs> but so I, I played it with a buddy. <laughs> there you go. It'll be good to see him on the channel soon then. Yeah. Um, but so they can't use it. Only a hero can use the reroll ability from this, so they just simply f fail. They have one other quartz left. Well, oh, you're not even making me unbind. This is great. Um, Would it put you to a five? It would put me to a five because I rolled a four. It goes off on a five. But then yes, but and then I, I can unbind. You would unbind that, and I don't think that's a good use of ether court, so I'm not going to do that. Okay. Um, it's probably smart. Yeah. All right. These guys um, are going to do um, protection of Hish, which is the ward bubble. On a five, does not get off. So look at you, you're not rolling any unbinds. No, you either roll a 12 or a 5. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Cathaler, um, Total Eclipse, on a 10. Come on, you're <laughs> supposed to roll your 4 there. <laughs> not so going to happen That for goes me. off. It's going to deal with Total Eclipse the whole game. And then, you don't even have tech lists. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and then one spell left, she'll do Overwhelming Heat. Sure. Um, and uh, six. I don't even think that gets off on a six. Prime. Over. Nope. That's a seven. That so reroll. No. Uh, oh yeah, I get a free reroll from the thing, so I might as well use it on a six. So oh, that's nope. A no. Cool. We're done. Um. So now we'll we'll get into movement. Cool. And uh, we'll come back. All right. So basically, oh, at the end of the movement phase, she's gonna come out, and I had measured that when she comes out. She will be six inches, or within one inch of them. Although, Doesn't they're matter. sharpshooters, right? Yeah, they're all sharpshooters. In that case, she's going to come out on this side. She has Tunnel Master. I forgot Which, to explain that yes, in the beginning. Yes, I forgot to say in the beginning that she has Tunnel Master. And she's also my only Galatian champion in my list, because I'm taking unique heroes. So, um, so she'll be chilling out in the back. Um, I did not get Power of Hish off, which makes me sad. Um, Makes me happy. <laughs> but otherwise, not much that I did. Altharion's coming over here trying to get a charge to take out Glutos after taking out um, Sigvald. Uh, after seeing what he did the first time. Going two for two. ignore all my army's buffs, so. That's the dream. Yep. Fox is coming over here. Mm -hmm. um, they kind of pinned them in. Uh, Sean rolled a one for redeploy. So I didn't even move them because it doesn't change his charge. Uh. But Too many models. He has a new pile of temptation dice for me to to use. Sure do. So, all right. My special metal dice. They'll take their buffs with them. All right. If things go poorly enough, I can just blow up my own models with my metal dice. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so that's it for movement. Shooting phase. Um, I'll start off with. Um, he's going to unleash the Windblast Vortex into Glutos. Okay. So on a two up. Aha, two in a, a row. One. Two in a row. Yeah. He rolled ones on that. But that's okay because Altharion's also going to unleash into him with his Searing Bolts of Light. And he rolled a five, which I think is triggers the D6. Yep, D6 mortals. So four mortals. Five aboard. Ignore two. two. So it takes two. Not bad. Up to nine. Take it. Getting there, so he's halfway down. Yep. Um, keep thinking about that. But uh, the Spirit of the Wind is going to shoot into Glutose as well. Minus one to hit. Minus one to hit. You can't um, negate it with your all-out attack because it's technically minus two. I can do all-out attack and use Ether Quartz. Could you? Nice. 
But I'm not going to. I only have two command points. But feel free. He'll take his wounds with him, um, and he'll just shoot into Glutos. So the spirit of the wind that never dies. Yeah, he'll die soon. I didn't. Posi oh, I get a move again at the end of the shooting phase to hopefully get out of range. All right. Um, threes by threes then. Four attacks into Glutos. Three yeah, missed. I'm, I'm not going to offer you one this time. I think I. Oh, but I could kill him. So you'd be forced to give me depravity, and then I get the mortals if I roll three. Um, do the mortals matter? I think what matters is staying alive here, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, so those miss. Three is it by three. So one, uh, two run, d3 damage. Okay, so he's a two up save right now, so it'll be a four up save. And a roll of one. d3 damage. One. Five. Five, that's, that's a four. four. So up to ten take. Okay. Shot, shot, shot. They're once per game thing. They're not going to use. So that's the end of the shooting phase. Um, so Spirit of the Wind gets to move. And he's going to do the very brave thing that Spirits of the Wind do. Run away. Run away. Good. Get out of here, fox. You kill all my other foxes. That's my only one left. They were so pretty, they needed to die. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're hard models to play with because they're so squishy and they have a 12 inch range. Yep. You know, they're, they're hard to. The Bliss Barb Seekers are like that. Yeah. I haven't tried them out yet, but I'm interested because they give an additional minus one to save if they do a wound, mm. which is good. So I thought about trying them this game, but I didn't want to go too heavy on the shooting. Yeah. So I played the Slick Bleeds. So we'll do um, the Lord Regent charging first. Over there, um, right, yeah, end of shooting face. So on a six. You did it. So he'll get in there. Um, I'm just gonna go there. The twins are gonna go in on a nine. They are going to go there. Let me double check the range on uh, his big weapon that's about two and a half inches long, only has a one inch reach. <laughs> um, <laughs> man, do I want to put all my eggs into that basket? I think I do. So, they'll be going there. Okay. Altharian? Yep. Six? I don't think that's enough. I gotta kind of... Yeah, we'll do it this way. You gotta like go around their base. Yeah. Though. So I don't think six would quite get me. It'd be about four to go there. Yeah. And then. Yeah, so you'd be here and then two. I think it gets oh, me. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. That would get me in. So Altharian joins the fun. Uh oh. He'll take his wounds with him. Um. <laughs> Toast is better than before, but it ain't looking good. Well, Tharion's better than before, too, though. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> All right. Um, so I that's... knew he was good. I didn't know he was that good. <laughs> so we'll do that. Um, we will swing with Altharion first because he's my friend. And you just ignore my minus two to hit. Yep. Cool. And so he'll target, obviously, Glutos with a Selenary Blade. And so this becomes twos by threes, sixes explode. All right. One, one rent. Okay, so two goes to a three. I swear I can do this. I can do it, I can do it, I believe, I believe. Hey, there you go, there you go. did it. All right, now his actually good weapon, also twos by threes. You're gonna offer me temptation? I sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now you're asking for it. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, yes! so there you go. Uh, three rend on this. So uh, five up save. I can roll five. I can't. Three damage each. All right, fives. Roll a five there. So take two. Take two. Up to 12. So he's getting down six left, right? Yep, but you don't have your mortals on fives anymore, which is a big deal. Nope, but I got mortals on sixes. Yeah, but you're not going to roll many sixes. So I'm not worried about that. I've been practicing. It's okay. You can keep practicing. Um, you want to start with them? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to think. I don't think this matters because I don't think you're going to... No, they might. I, 
I don't want to risk it. Vernari Lord Regent. I want to make sure. I he mean, gets... that's that's fifteen attacks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's a, and he's. A, yeah. It's not. It's unlikely, but it 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 could, it happen. could happen, and it's, it's the it's the safe thing. So all right. So um, I'm minus one to attack army wide now. Yeah, minus one to hit. Yeah. That's all right. Minus one to hit. So he's going to spend a command point then to get back to twos by threes. Okay. So I'll hit. So this is my battle tactic. So four. You missed one? I missed one. What's the rend? Uh, one rend, flaming weapon brings up to three damage. Okay, I will offer you the temptation. What's your armor save? Five. Let's go with the six, but three. I need three to go through though. If you make two sixes, I don't get my battle tile. I got the mount too. Temptation dice. Ah. <laughs> No, I'll, uh, I'm not going to take the dice. So uh, you will get the. So I take the mortals. Mortal yep. That'll so I'll take two, two mortals. mortals. So those are the two that he healed at the top of the turn. So you now have four at one rend, three damage. So, nice tomorrow. There you go. Bye, ladies. It's been real. All right. I'm going to go Gutos. Yep. So he's bracketed now, at least. I don't know if bracketed. that really matters. Yeah, I think he only loses two attacks at that, because he's, what, 12 taken? Yeah. Let's find out. See, the hard part is now he heals himself when he does damage, too. Yes, that's why I really wanted to get and him next. That, and that was why I was debating. Hes hesitating. Yeah, so he loses two total attacks on the Crushing Claws. Yeah. So I'm putting everything into the Wardens. Yeah, of course. Me yep, too. yep, that's the right call. So, um, am I minus one to hit? You are minus one. Uh, yeah, I kept the machine company. Um, and I will um, use their ethic course to give them plus one armor. Oh, what's your rend on your attacks? Two. No, that's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I might as well. I'm not going to haul out defense, though. I'm still plus one to wound against them. So it'll be fours and twos. I'm not. Do I want to all out defense? What else would I use it on? Keep me from dying from battle shock. Um, I'm not garrisoned, so I don't get the free command point anymore. Um, no, I'm not gonna. I'll save it. All right. Fours. Hits with all three and a wailing great blade. Nice. Twos. Um, two go through at negative two. So this will be fives then. So saved one. One goes through. That's two damage. Okay. Uh, there's no wards active over there, so I just take two. Flailing Scourge will be in the Sacrificial Dagger, the same profile, so this will be fours and threes. Hits with three. Threes. Wounds with three, no rend. Uh, so that goes to a threes. Three up armor. Saved them all. Okay. Uh, those are they base four? Yeah. All right, so Crushing Claws, this will be fours and twos. Ooh, hits with all three. Nice. I wish I had the mortals. I, I rolled a few sixes there. And twos. So I'll be negative again. two. So that takes me to a four up, three up, back up to a five up. So save two. Man, three damage. Oh. You, you've had some good save rolls. Yeah. So I'll heal five total wounds. I wanted to get the whole six, but it is what it is. So 12 goes to seven taken. So he should survive. I hope you don't roll 8,000 sixes. Okay. Um, I'll do the twins first. It'll make me feel better before I switch back to the wardens. Um, so, Altari um, is twos by threes. That takes me down to threes by threes. This is the main weapon. Okay. Yeah, so the minus one. Yep. Yes, because I'm normally two, so it takes me to threes. Okay. And by threes, so two at a two rend, we're on turn three, so three damage. Okay, so that is six damage. Then the mage staff becomes fours by threes. Both hit. No wounds. Then the owl. Ooh. Hit. Up, oh, up. Oh. Nope. Not enough who. Nope. Uh, and then back to these guys. 
All right. So they will be minus one to hit. Minus one to hit. So again, I'm, um, I was not charged this turn, so I don't get that benefit. So you don't get the plus one wound? I don't get the plus one to wound, I don't get the rend. Um, not that that really matters. So there are fours by fours. I'll do the champion first. Get the dice out of the way. Again, mortals on sixes this time. So one, um, that's one rend on the champion's blade. So three up save. Me. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's twenty-two. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty-two. Okay. Basically fishing for sixes at this point. Um, but otherwise, fours by four is no rent. Uh, no rend. <laughs> <laughs> one gets through. So you got four then. The yeah. mortals on the one. And Save one of those. So three. So I'm back to ten taken. So it's like, you a, like a, a, a yo-yo. Yeah, that's pretty much what you started the turn. No, he had seven taken at the start of the turn. Got this. Yep. So that's it for combat. You have. Oh no, I have my. Yep. I you have got two seekers, seekers over there. So. Yep. Seekers, zoom zoom. All right, pile in. Charging Altharion there might have not been a great idea. I think so, um, I mean, he could have done it. You rolled kind of poorly on it. Yeah, but so it's one of those. Forward. He might have been better suited to be somewhere else. Five, the icon. Oh, they rally on fives too. Cool. Didn't know that. So this will be threes and fours. Should have offered you a temptation on your save roll over there, because mm. then I might have had the sixes to wound over here. Yeah. Um, threes, fours, two wounds, negative one. So their three up goes to a four up. Both go through. One damage each. Poison tongue, threes, and fours. Nothing. And I'm trying to remember, what is this spell? That spell token, I'm trying to remember if I cast... It's their ward. It's their ward, because their other spell is Speed of Hish and... Yeah, it's their ward. The other one. So, all right. So, five up on the ward. Both go through. Okay. Did you do any damage with the mounts? No. Okay. No, they missed. So, so you they have bravery have there. Left. I have bravery here. They can't lose. They're bravery 10, so... Um, Don't even need to roll. I'll spend the command point. Okay. So you hold. I hold this one. one I hold two. One. I hold you more. Do not, you do not hold this one, but you do hold more. So then I got my battle tactic. So you'll score five. Yep. So you're going to eleven. So it's eleven for Lumineth to nine for Slanesh. Going into Slanesh round three. Yep. Cool. Let's do it. So we're going into Slanesh turn three. I am going to do Death by a Thousand Cuts. It's a Slanesh battle tactic. I think I can achieve it. I just need to do wounds. Uh, three different units have to do wounds to a unit. So basically the first two can't kill it. So I'm gonna shoot these two units at that thing, or that big unit, and hopefully not kill it. And then Glutose can either finish the unit off or at least finish achieving the battle tactic. So that is my goal. And then from there, we're going to do um, for my heroic action, a command point, so I get one for the turn, command point from the Glutos. Cool. Okay, so you actually can use a command ability. I can, but I can also activate that oh, to true. be able to do stuff, and this might be the turn to do it. Um, actually, instead of doing the command ability, if you're okay with it, I would actually yep. just rather find a star with Glutos. Yep. So. That makes sense if you wanted to use their... Yeah, Free and, I'm gonna use, and I'm going to use the um, artifact this turn. I think this is the turn to do it. Yeah. So we're going to find a sour glutose. We're going to use the artifact. Um, I'm not going to use the fane. I don't want to do any mortal wounds to the mirror. I don't think that makes any sense. So what is your heroic action? I'm going to heal my Venari Lord Regent again. Yeah, and glutose is, of course, using his ability on So, so. he heals. Um, 
He heals two. So those two wounds keep getting caused and being healed. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna do the spell portal. I get to reroll that. An eight. Eight. And that's from her, right? Yep. I might have put my wizard too far back, the one with the reroll, but the twins are still in range. Yep. So they get plus one on this. So I got it with a nine. Dang. Just let me have the mirror one time. <laughs> <laughs> I'd prefer not to. Uh, we'll do the War Scroll spell then. Um, it's a miscast, but I get to reroll. So I got it on a seven. Um, they'll try it again from the twins. Yep. So on a seven plus one is eight. <laughs> okay. You literally are one upping me. <laughs> <laughs> Mystic Shield from Glutos. Twelve. Oh. Yes, you can't do anything about that. Can't do that. anything about that one. I guess, I guess I'll let you have that one. I'll get the Mystic Shield. And then uh, Arcane Bolt because his War Scroll spell doesn't matter. So we'll do it on a tap. And might as well do it from the Wizard, Cathaler. I get to reroll that. Okay. It's a good time for a reroll. All right. All right. So he's got a Arcane Bolt. Um, just going to hold on to it for now because I want to see what happens with the Wardens and shooting and all of that. Yep. Maybe finish them off at the end of combat is the idea, I think. So we'll put the reminder there. Um, all done. So is this, I think that was the slow, I'm not sure what that one is actually. I don't, I don't remember at this point. Um, oh, that was the plus one to wound. That was oh, the targeted was, them. That was yeah, from that, last that turn, right? Targeted them from last turn, yeah. So moving on, uh, literally moving. Uh, yep. Moving on, like we're moving. <laughs> Okie dokie. So all the archers ran, shuffled up. They took this objective from them. They took the objective here. Seekers moved 14 that way just to get out. Maybe rally next turn and then see what I need them for. I don't really know what to do with them just yet. I'm really hoping to finally win a priority <laughs> going into the next round. Uh, I think I might be able to pull the game out pretty solidly if that happens. If not, yep. it's uh, going to be a close one. So going into the shooting phase, um, I do have free commands all around. I guess I could have auto six something that I need to. So um, let's go ahead and all out attack. So that way we can negate your minus one to hit. So we're going to use this unit to shoot there. Okay. I'll do all twenty one in there, and this will be threes and threes because I am negating your minus one. Yep. Threes. That was a good roll. And three. Not bad. 12? 13. 13. Negative 1. 5. You're out of Aether Quartz, right? On that unit, yep. 13 minus 1, so that brings me up to 5s. So I saved 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so I lose 9. Ooh, that is more than I wanted. Maybe I shouldn't have all out attacked. One, two, three, four. Am I gonna be pulled out of range? Am I gonna fail my battle tactic? <laughs> Five, six, seven. Uh oh. My champion doesn't matter anymore, really, because I can't cast anyways, because I have too few models. I'm at nine. I got one in range. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one's gonna shoot there, the other are gonna shoot there, so. Um, that's definitely not the leader model, so this is going to be fours and threes. I might fail my <laughs> battle tactic right here. I shouldn't have all attacked. <laughs> oh no. We hit? No. We uh, won. Minus one. They're both going to go through. Yeah. You got one left? I got one left. Yes, I'm going to get my battle tactic. <laughs> oh, that was so... <laughs> Except, I, I, yeah, the what, shooting here. what's the range of Glutose's weapons? Oh, he's got his, sh his shot first. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So I'm going to shoot at you first and then three. take it from there. I'm the three, yep. But, Two and a half away. Um, I still get to pile on and all that, so he'd be able to pile Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. He's, got a, he's got a big enough base. Yeah, so uh, this is 19 shots left into that unit. So this will be fours and threes because they still have Shining Company. All right, so fours. I am so happy with how much better these archers are than they were before. Well, especially with those rolls. That makes up for your early game rolls, too. Oh, yeah, by far. Oh, 
not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Spoke too soon. Yeah. Three. Uh, uh, five. five. Negative one. So negative one, um, fives. Two. So I take three. Um, I'll offer you a temptation on that one. How many depravity do you have? I have 21. And your next, oh, you get at 24, right? Yep. That's your exploding in combat? That's uh, mortal wounds. Mortal wounds in combat on sixes. Sixes to hit in addition. That's fine. All right. So depravity. Yep. Five. So that puts me to 26. So now I will get the mortal wounds. Not that it matters because I don't really have any <laughs> units left of them in the dose. <laughs> well, my strategy was to let them all die so glucose can't eat them all. Right. <laughs> So, Glutos, he's going to shoot. All right. So, that last guy there. Twos. Hits. Come on, ones. Twos. Ah. Hits and wounds. What's the run? No run, right? No run. So, four up. Got it. Ah, saved it. Okay. Uh, we got that unit of archers. I'm going to try and off that guy there. Okay, you're minus one to hit against him. That's fine. So, fours and threes. Um, he's going to spend his last ether quartz, yep. which causes problems for him down the road, but I don't want to die. Which is possible. Yep. Eight. Eight. Six. Eight at negative one. So that brings him back up to three up. So he takes two. Those same two that he healed at the start of the turn go we'll back on him. will offer you a depravity. He's only got six. I can't. Uh, I can't take the mortal wounds. Okay. You have to get the depravity. Two. Up to twenty-eight. Okay. Um, that's it for shooting. So there's not going to be any charging. I'm holding objectives. I'm happy with all that. So we just have uh, the big man himself. Yep. Which um, I don't have to kill that unit. I just have to allocate wounds to it. Which I mean, I'm probably going to keep killing it anyway. Well, I only got one left. Yeah, I'm just thinking about how I'm going to allocate. Uh -huh. So I'm going to put all the one damage attacks into him to make sure that I at least roll through and try and get that. And then I'll put one of the great blades into it, just, just to be right. extra sure. I was just about to say for the one damage attack, what's the rend on those? There's zero rend, so... So that's why I got one command uh, point left and I could all up defense. Yeah, so, man, I'm going to put um, the... So, when put the, so let me, from a yeah. timing, per, when do I declare all out defense? That's After when, I allocate okay. everything. Yeah. So I'm going to allocate the Great Blade to it, even though I don't want to, because I need to get a wound through. Okay, and what's the profile? That's negative two. And wh what's the hit and wound? Uh, it'll be threes and threes because you don't have Shiny Company. Correct. Actually, it'll be threes and twos. I have finest hour. Three by twos with two rend, so that would bring you two rend, two damage. And then this I'm at the bottom ten wounds taken, so I have four claws. So the one damage attacks and the claws will go into Altharian. Yeah, I might as well. I don't have anything else I can use it on. Okay. So yeah, all at defense. All right. So we will start with that. Um, I will. Ah. Oh. I moved the mirror to where I can't give him any command points. That's so, so dumb. Can he issue it to himself? I don't. You have total equip, oh. so. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That was stupid. The whole point that I used the artifact was so that I could do all of <laughs> attack and defense, but uh, I'm not going to be able to, so. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. So let's go uh, threes and twos. Oh boy. Well, it's cocked. Got it. Negative two. So three up goes to a five up. This is big. Yep. <sighs> he goes, goes through. So he'll heal two wounds. That'll yep. happen after combat, though. Um, he's also. Does my he new heal forward. both or just the one? Because I only had the one wound. Uh, I don't know. Let's read it. Um, doo -doo -doo. After you can heal a number of wounds allocated to that unit equal to the number of wounds and mortal wounds caused by attacks that were allocated to enemy units. So I would think it would just be one then. Yep. So one wound. Um, the Euphoric Killers, by the way, is on Altharian yep. for depravity. Yep. So, um, this will be threes and threes for the one damage attacks. Okay. And threes. Oof. Nothing. 
And then the crushing claws will be threes and twos. And sixes do do mortal wounds. I just haven't rolled any. Yep. Okay. Sixes are not the cards for me. Twos. Three of them. Negative two run. Doesn't matter. Three up. Taped them all. Cool. So I heal one wound. And then Altharion gets the smile. Um, Alright, so he ignores modifiers, so Selenari Blade first, twos by threes. There's nothing that affects two wound rolls, right? So twos by threes. Sixes explode. <laughs> so box cars. I'll take it, so that's four by threes. So three go through. Um, this is one rend. And you do have your Mystic Shield up and Finest Hour. Yeah, so it'll be twos. Yep. Save them all. That's unfortunate. Um, all right, four for the Fang Sword, uh, twos by threes. You wanna offer me? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three, three rend. All right, so one up goes to a four up. Save two. Save two, three damage each. Fives. Save two of those. Cool. So started at ten, one. went back to ten. Yeah. Started at the bottom. Now we're hip. Yeah, that <laughs> that mystic shield and uh, the finest hour. He's he's tanking pretty well. Oh yeah, he's he's doing his job. I'm yeah. glad he survived. I was a little worried there and, for and a while. That was why I wasn't sure if I should put Altharion into him, but part of me just wanted to see if I could take him out. I you mean, know, he's got a really good shot out of it, uh, yeah. out of it from anybody else. So. That'll be the end of round three. Um, I will score five, so I will be 14 to 11. Yep. And then uh, we got another big roll off. I got a five. One. Well, my first win on a roll off here, I think uh, I take the double and close the door. I think that'll probably do the job. Yeah. Wh which uh, objective would you like to activate? Yours? Okay. Yep. All right, we'll be back with uh, Slanesh turn four. All right, so battle tactics gonna be desecrate. I'm gonna desecrate here. It's just gonna basically automatically happen as long as I don't move them. And uh, I really don't need to move much at all. I mean, honestly, like I'm gonna get desecrate. I'm gonna hold all the objectives. I just need to shoot some stuff off and do a combat and do a, a spell phase. So yep. let's do, um, oh, I forgot to do his um, Hurricane Bolt. Oh, you, yeah, you go ahead. If I do that for last Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. D3 on Altharian? Yep. Uh, one. He just takes one, and he doesn't have any wards, so okay. he'll just have three damage Thanks. on him. I forgot. Totally yep. forgot about it until we went no, to absolutely. here. <laughs> um, we'll go back for Mystic Shield from Glutos. I got it on a five. Uh, the Cathaler back there, uh, she'll re-roll it from the tower. Yep. On a six. Yep. All gone. There you go. Okay, so and then... Um, did we do heroic actions? Um, no, actually we haven't. We missed the total start of hero phase because I went really fast. <laughs> you're, ex <laughs> you're excited to kill all the elves. Um, what is your... Well, i got to do mine first. So I will do a command point from Glutos since you still have total eclipse. Yep. I will not get it. And then I will heal those. try to heal those two from the Venari Lord region again. Which I do, and I heal three. Look at that. Man. He's getting better. Dies. Never dies. Okay. Um, back to spells. Arcane Bolt from Glutos. I got a three. Does not happen. We're going to do the um, War Scroll spell. We'll get on an eight. I'll keep that. From the twins. Um, that goes off. Uh, okay. Yeah. Three units. Three. Um, Altharian. And them. And that thing. The twins. Okay, and then um, I suppose we could do. Am I finally in range? No, I'm not. Um, what am I gonna do? I don't know. Uh, the mirror. Get it on an eight, nine. It's not gonna do anything. But yeah, <laughs> might as well. I have this spell. Uh, seven, eight. So you get it off. I finally get it. You and get then, it off when yeah. you have no spells to cast. <laughs> I have no spells to cast. <laughs> Put it there. Okay. All right. So that's it for um, the hero phase. Let's go to movement. Okay. Here, movement's done. 
So, that was quick. Yeah. So we're just going to go right into shooting. Yep. So, um, you still have a total eclipse up. My artifact has been burnt. I can't use it anymore. I'm just going to shoot like normal. So this is going to be, I'm not minus one though anymore, right? If I'm shooting at them? Uh, correct. You're not minus one. Right, only, so. only, this is the only unit that you're minus one against. He doesn't have it up either because he spent his other course. Got it. So that unit shooting at Altharian. Threes and threes. I'm just going to try and put volumes of attacks. That's the best way to take them down. All right. Mm. So looks like five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, three ups. Uh, I'll take it. He takes one. <laughs> okay. So, how many wounds does he have total? He's got four on him now. Total, he's got eight. So he's got eight, four left. Halfway there. Yep. Um, I kind of want to shoot these wardens off. Yeah, let's shoot the wardens. Uh, they're gonna all have defense with, or use the other course, I should say. Force, because they're a shining company. So that one's cocked. It's a hit. Okay. And three. Uh, is eight seven, as well. Eight. So four up goes to three up, goes back to four up with your rend. Mm -hmm. And they take three. Um, do I want to offer a temptation there? No, I don't think I do. So, we've got the last unit of archers. How many? There's no wounds on the things, is there? They have. They have three wounds on them. They do? Yeah. They, they, got, they got five left. And then this thing that never dies has how many <laughs> wounds? <laughs> uh, he's got six wounds total. Um, so he's got one on him, so he's got five left. All right, let's shoot him again. We're going we're gonna to try. Yep, and you're not minus one anymore. I'm he's, not? Nope, he burned all his other quartz. Okay. So we get threes and threes again. But he will all up defense. Okay. So... Seven. Is five, six, seven, eight again. Yeah, eight. there's another dice over here. All right, missed that one. That was consistent across the board. Yeah, so three up um, stays the same because of all-out defense. Mm -hmm. So threes. Ah, uh, he takes one. <laughs> well, we're trying. <laughs> well, you're shooting with good last turn. <laughs> yes, yes, it was. And I said he takes one. And there's only one there. Um, I don't need the depravity, really. I mean, I like would like the five up board, I guess. I'm at 28, so if I roll a 6, I'm still not there. So I'm good. Um, let's just go to combat. Okay. And we're going to go with Glutose, of course. Um, he will pile in over here just to get closer for, for later turns. I definitely heard a crack from the canopy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> so um, obviously the Euphoric Killers is going to be him. And then everything... Oh, I forgot to shoot Glutose. So oh, yeah, go ahead. Let's shoot Glutose. Uh, twos and twos. Hits. Does not win. Missed it. Dang. All right. So, um, no finest hour, no nothing. So it's just back to threes and threes. Uh, I think I'm going to save the all-out attack for an all-out defense because of total eclipse. So, threes. Two hits. One wound. Two. No, doesn't matter. Threes, got it. Okay, one, one damage attacks. And this is threes and fours. Nothing. And the claws. Uh, one more to wound. All right, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, wow. That was horrific. Um, I'm gonna heal one wound though. Yep. From the one mortal, and then I will unleash the um, Arcane Bolt. Is that the end of the phase, though? I have not cast Arcane Bolt in a while. You do it at the start of the phase, so you can do it oh, at the start, the start of the combat phase. Okay, well, I should have done it at the start. So. Yep, go I, for I, it. I can just wait till after. No, do it, because you might kill me now if you get three. Two. So, I'm still alive. So, take that one out and put a three down. So, he's got one wound left, and he's going to swing. Okay. Uh, Selenari Blade, twos by threes. I'm going to need all up defense. The last two command points. Okay. Uh, so that missed. That's that. All right. 
Fang sword. It's looking like my attacks. I know, right? <laughs> uh, twos by threes, so those all hit. Six explodes. Oh, it's an explosion that happens on both swords? Yeah, that's the Supreme Sword Master. It's the ignoring oh, modifier it's, and it's, the exploding sixes. So and so now sixes do mortals in addition on this one. It's by threes. And so two mortals. Let me double check. It's just one. Yeah, one mortal in addition. Okay. And so four, three rend. All right. This could get good toast. We'll see. Um, three rend, so two goes to five. Save one. So nine. So nine plus the two. So that so goes to 11. 11 mortals. Or 11 damage. Whew. But All right, fives. Yeah, I should have pulled him out. Um, that's probably more than enough. Uh, you might have one left because you healed Six, one. Six, seven, eight, nine. No, it's Xaxes because he has nine total left. You got him. Big man's dead. Look at Altharion. He's just marching through. Yeah, I mean, I was hoping I'd roll like a little bit better on the attacks and maybe yeah. get a mortal wound because like, I, I just needed a couple. I was rolling crazy on those saves, though. Those yeah. threes. Yeah. All right. Glutos is dead. Probably should have retreated him in retrospect, but I was thinking I could kill Altharion. I was hoping to. He's got one wound left. But um, I'm going to score my battle tactic, and I'm going to score five points. Yep. So I would be at 19 to 11. 19 to 11. Lumineth turn four. Yep. All right. So top of, or sorry, bottom of four. Lumineth are going to do desecrate their lands over there. Um, Eltharion's going to try to heal. He has a bravery 10. So he does. He heals D3. Three. <laughs> so that'll be helpful. Um, and what did you want to do for your battle tactic? Uh, for my heroic. Oh, sorry. Heroic action. Um, I'll just do a command point, I suppose. Hey, I didn't get it again. So I wanted to get a point. Um, we didn't mention it at the end of the turn, but I spent a command point to make them immune to battle shock. Yep. And then I get another one at the start of this turn. All right. Um, so for spells. Wind Mage is going to start with casting Healing Zephyr. Um, with the range of the tower to be able to reroll that. I think it's 18. I think so too. She should be within. Within 12. No, you are not. I'm not within 12. So instead, he's going to take damage. And he will take one mortal wound. Not that it matters. No. You declared your battle tactic, right? Yes, the desecrate, yeah, desecrate. that terrain piece. All right, so that's that. Um, the twins are going to cast their ward spell on themselves. On a four, does not get off. They're doing great. Um, I'm going to use their last ether quartz, which they'll... Both of those will be drained now on them. Um, and they're going to do a reroll. So get that off on a nine. Um, I only have two unbinds now. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. I really just care about total eclipse. Yep. Um, they're going to, the twins are also going to cast Rune of Petrification. And that, that's important. On a Four does not get off. I already used my reroll, so that's life for them. Um, the Venari Lord Regent is going to cast Flaming Weapon on a five. That is cocked. Seven. Okay, so you stop that. She's going to do Total Eclipse. Ooh, I don't know. I'm in range. Ten. You roll a ten on that every time anyway, but yeah, I'm not in range. So I can't unbind it. Um, so total eclipse. And then for her second trick, um, what other spell does she have that's even in range? Uh, Overwhelming Heat has a 24 inch range. Can she target? No, she can't hit anybody with that one. So she's going to do. We um, should have rally before. Yeah, you can go ahead and do your rally. Yeah, because it's the only thing I can yeah. do. Because you would have done that at the top of yeah, the phase. Yeah, at, at the top of the phase before you had your... Yep. So I'll get one back. Yep. Thanks. 
then her last spell is going to be, um, I don't know what's the point of casting anything with her. Um, arcane Bolt. So that gets off on a six. Okay. Did he cast? Yeah, he tried Flaming Weapon. Oh, yeah, And, yeah, and that yeah. was the one you dispelled. And then, are they a caster still? Not anymore, because they have less than five. And then what about that? Oh, yeah. He, he tried the... Yeah. He, he failed the healing. Okay. They did the two. Um, so you're all done? So I'm done. Cool. Luminous spell uh, casting goes quicker towards the end of the game. Yeah. After me. <laughs> all right. So, um, basically for movement, Altharian moved up there. Wind Mage went to grab the terrain piece. Um... He's coming around to try to go for them. The twins, now damage four, are going to try to take out those archers. Spirit of the Wind is kind of keeping his options open to see how the turn goes. Um, so I'm going to start um, for, the, for that unit, the hero. What's the wounds and save? Uh, seven or eight wounds, five up save, two up mortal wound save. Two up mortal wound save. Yes. All right, so I don't want to shoot Altharion at him. All right, so Spirit of the Wind will yep, shoot seven it. Seven wounds, five up save, two up ward against mortals. Okay, so Spirit of the Wind's going to shoot um, against them. Against the hero? Yes. Okay. So I'm minus one to hit, um, plus the... So I'm going to be on threes. I'm not going to spend anything to modify that. So I'll be on threes by threes. Can you give me a dice? <laughs> oh no! You spent you spent them all. Uh, no, I have six. Oh, but you have left. Like you have one wound left on it, but you're just going to give me the depravity. Yeah. Which um, I mean, doesn't really help me at this point. So two, two rend. No save. D three damage each. So two. So four total. Okay. Four taken. Um, Altharion is going to. Maybe I'm wrong in doing that, but I, I don't know. Yeah. Like you get another hit and that's probably dead. <laughs> He's going to shoot into the center unit of Bliss Barb Archers with his Searing Darts of Light. So on a two up, so that does just D6 mortal wounds. Mm -hmm. So two mortal wounds. Um, the twins once per game ability. I'm still going to save that. Um, because only one unit's going to be in range, because yep. it's 12 inches, right? Yep. So I probably could have positioned that a little bit better, but we're fine. All right, so that's it for shooting. Mm -hmm. um, the end of the shooting phase, he can move. He's going to move back over to try to take these guys out. Now going for the archers? Um, I think... He'll yeah, be able like, to tie him up. In case you um, miss that charge. Yeah. But I'm concerned that they're going to be able to then get a free objective point. Oh, uh, yeah. And then, and then you'll potentially be able to get two and more okay. um, for, for turn five. Cool. So charges? Charges. Uh, Spirit of the Wind first on a 10. I think that'll do. So they'll get in there. Nah, he does impact hits, I think. Living Cyclone. On a three up, you take one mortal wound. And you're minus one to hit okay. until the end of the next combat phase. One mortal. All right. The twins. Ten. Yep, they're going to be in. Um, I'll just pile them in there. I'll keep them on the objective. Okay. Um, Altharion. Need a good roll on him. Five, I don't think, is enough. No, nope. nope. six. So I'm going to spend a command point to reroll that. And out of 10, so he's going to get both of them. Yep, makes sense. And then the Venari Lord Regent, I think he needs a 7, he nine gets a 9. So, oh yeah, he's in plenty. There you go. Plans are working. Um, Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a turnaround the last... Yeah, no, this has turned around in a huge way. Yeah. So... Total Eclipse has been just brutal. That's been a game. game. Mm-hmm. That, that has been a difficult one. And I've been rolling tens on them. Yeah. You know? Mm hmm So, all right, we'll do combat first. Um, 
I mean, you definitely have to go with the Huracan. Yeah, I got to do the Huracan first. That, those are the only things that are good in melee. Yep. So, um, we'll see how this goes. This probably was a mistake to charge him in, but I only need to do five wounds. Right. So I don't disagree. We'll see. To get him out of the way. All right. So, melee weapon. Um, he's out of Ether Quartz. I don't want to do all that attack, and I don't have anyone there to issue it to him anyways. So, I'm minus one to hit, correct? Yes. So, threes by threes. Um, so one, uh, two rend. No, no save. D3. That was this one. So one. Mm -hmm. Pops the dude. Okay. Um, Is that it? Nope. He has swirling sands. Okay. Two attacks. Fours by threes now. It's a both. One, one rend, one damage. So, yeah, so he's... I thought he did more damage than that. He used to, um, but no, he's... Severus does, does significantly more. Who's your next one? Um, I'm going to... I don't know that it matters. They're just... They're not... No, I just bad. don't want it. Yeah, I'm just thinking. I'll do um, um, Eltharion. So there's no heroes, so he doesn't get the hero bonus. Um... So this will be threes by threes. I mean, wouldn't wouldn't it make more sense to do like one of these two first, and then whatever this guy doesn't clean up, you can learn you can split your attacks with Altharian. I was thinking that, but he only has four wounds left. Oh, okay. If you yeah, pile, if I just if, like get lucky. If you pile everything oh, into him. Oh, and I him, get the mortal wounds still on sixes. So yeah. that makes sense. Okay. So I'm glad we talked that through. <laughs> I was just curious yeah. what you're thinking. Yeah, I'm. Of, those the random mobs of attacks is where he dies. Well, yeah, and especially since I have the mortal wounds and he doesn't have a ward save. Yeah, which I absolutely. Okay. So, all right, so he's threes by threes. Are, I'm you, how are, you, are you splitting it all? Or are you going all into one? I'm gonna do the Selenari blade into here and the Fang sword into there. Okay. So this is the Selenari blade. Um, he's twos by threes. Sixes explode. So three by threes. So one, one rend. Three no, damage. No Three damage. Why am I rolling that? I'm not sure. It's Which just, uh, one was that? This that one? was that one, yep. Okay. So we'll pull here. All right, and this is the Fang Sword into the other unit. Uh, twos by threes. I'm glad that cannot be modified. Yep. That's Sixes do mortals in addition. So one mortal. And then three rent, three damage. So six, seven six, damage? Six, seven damage, yep. Okay, right, your turn. Um, not sure it matters. Uh, it says how many wounds? Three on it, so five left? Five left, yeah, I'm counting down. Okay. I'm gonna get like just a couple in. That's it. Okay. Got one, two, three, four, five. I think the homunculus has a melee attack. Oh. Not sure. Doesn't happen very often. <laughs> <laughs> homunculus. Um, homunculus is armed with a blade. Yeah. Okay. Hey, look at that. So, so I'll be the same. So I have what? Six people. Yeah. Six. So this will be six attacks. And threes and fours. Sixes to a mortal. Hey, one mortal wound. Decent hit roll there. And three saves, no run. Three saves, so they're three up. Uh, so one goes through, and, and then one, one plus the mortal, a five aboard. So both of those go through. Hey, did it. Look at that. Hey, you're right, they could have killed Altharian. Just gotta get enough mortal wounds. That's, it's, it happens, man. Hey, right, uh, Venari Lord Regent. He's got five attacks. Um, twos by threes goes to threes by threes. He doesn't have flaming weapon up. Sixes do two mortals, I think, for him. Okay. Yeah, two mortals for that one. And the attack sequence ends. So by threes. So one, one rend, two damage. No save. And then the light courser is threes by fours, goes to fours by fours.
One, no rend, one damage. Okay. One left. It's just going to run to Battle Shock. And then the twins. And then I got the Seekers after that. Yep. So twos by threes goes to threes by threes. This is Altari, the big weapon. Uh, one, two rend, four damage. Okay. The Mage Staff is threes by threes goes to fours by threes. Both hit. One wounds, one rend, and D3 damage. So one. Then the Owl hits. Woo. Wounds. No, one rend, one damage. I then you got... leave the homunculus for now. Not sure what the math is on that. Okay, um, we got those two, so this will be five attacks. Um, actually, they get the end of the combat phase if any models were slain with the wounds characteristic two or less by wounds cause. Oh, I didn't say anything like that, so it doesn't matter. All right, so threes, six is new immortal, one mortal, he's dead, right? Five up board. I'm dead. Got it. Yeah, you shouldn't have charged in there. Yeah, that was, that was a mistake, but... It was, it was a gamble that I probably didn't need to take. Okay, so this archer into the Lord Regent. Hits. Wounds. Threes. Saved it. I did not get out of combat range with him, so which I was trying to do. So I'll get two in. Probably should have just left him closer, would have had more attacks. Hey, mortal wound. And one save. Three up. Dang. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it usually goes with him. He takes out the big yeah. guys and then the random. Oh, if I had kept the other two in combat, I would have killed him. Yeah. I got the mortal wounds. No, he's got eight. He's got eight. Oh, does he? Yeah, oh, he's okay. got eight. I thought, I thought he had more wounds on him. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go to Battle Shock. So that'll run. Lost uh, seven there. So seven plus five is 12. So those four will run. And then that unit, there's five left, so I lost six. So six plus four is ten. Let me double check the bravery. Yeah, because that one matters. Um, six bravery, so four will run. So I'll have one left. That's just enough for me to grab it. Yep. All right, well, it seemed like it was going good. <laughs> and that turned around real quick. <laughs> so you'll score five. Yep. Um, which brings you to 16 to 19, which means that you are in a uh, very good position to win this game. Yeah, so let's roll off. Four, four and two. Yeah, so um, let me think this through. I'm going to take the turn. I just don't know what my battle tactic is I, or if I can complete one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do Cunning Maneuver with the mirror. Um, all the objectives are active now, so I'm going to go after that one. I just need to roll one on my run, which I can do. So uh, I'll get two command points for the turn. My heroic action will be to try and get a command point, I guess, or heal. I don't, it doesn't really matter. So I don't get it. Um, going to... What's your heroic? Um, I'm going to heal Eltharion. Yep, he heals. D3. Two. Cool. Alright, going to spells. Um, we'll cast Slothful Stupor. We'll get it on an eight. Um, twins try to dispel uh, on a nine. Stopped it. Alright. And then uh, Arcane Bolt. Get on a five, but I'll reroll it. Get on an eight. Twins again. On a 7, 8, so you get it off. Okay. I'm um, not going to be within 3, so I'll just bolt something now, I suppose. So <laughs> doesn't matter. It's not going to make a huge difference. We'll bolt one of those dudes. So Bink! We'll have to do that at the end of movement. So yep. let's do movement real quick. So that is going 17, and that'll put him within 12 to be able to do that. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Then these ones over here, they have a 2d6 run. The Seekers, so 4, so 18, doesn't matter. That's more than enough to get to take this objective from you. Yep. 
And then I'm going to uh, spend 18 depravity to summon 10 demon nuts. So I will go from 28 to 10. And these 10 demon nuts will hold this objective here to make sure I am able to score one, two, and more. And that will actually allow me to score five points, which is crazy. <laughs> so I will score five points. I'm not going to engage in combat of any kind. There's no reason to. This is just moving and taking points here. So there we go. I score five. I go from 19 to 24. And then we're going to jump into Lumineth round uh, five. Yep. So um, basically we're just going to walk through the bottom of Lumineth 5. And so these guys are going to move, retreat out of combat to go here. Um, actually, if I retreat out of combat, I can't shoot the lightning bolt thing at them. Yeah, but you can arcane bolt or whatever. So just, you have like, you have a bunch of mortal yeah. spells. So. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm going to first off, cunning maneuver will be the battle tactic on this one. Um, I'll do arcane bolt there. Um, get there that go. off on a 13. It's dead. It's dead. So that's going to kill that guy. Um, the rest of my spells really don't matter for what we're going to be doing. He's going to move there to be able to take it. This guy, little guy, he just needs seven. So I run him. He'll be able to move eight to be able to move here. She's going to tunnel master to be here. He'll fly over with his base to take that over. Altharian. Auto, auto six Altharian. Yep, Altharian's going to auto six okay. to be able to get in there. So now I so have the... His grand strategy is take what's there. So now he has two units in here, which means he's going to get his grand strategy. Yep, and then he'll be able to move in. And yeah, you still have to make the charge with that one. Unless you come over here. I'll just run. Because yeah. I'm only like one inch, right? Yeah, so you're there. So well, now you're good. Four. So. so now you stop my grand strategy. So yep. it's... We, we did the math. It's 24 to 16 right now. He's going to score five because he's going to score his battle tactic cunning maneuver. He's going to hold more objectives. So that'll put it up to 21. I'm going to fail my grand strategy <laughs> and you're going to get yours. So we have a legitimate tie. 24, 24 to 24. 24. <laughs> so that was a good game. What? That was a hell of a game. Yeah. That was a ton of fun. Th thanks for being on the channel. Yeah, it was fantastic. It was great to be here. Yeah, and if uh, you're coming out to the tournament, um, come check out. Um, Gray Matter is going to be the only booth that we have because we didn't really have any booth space. So you get to be the lucky lucky one. Yep. So <laughs> we'll be there. We'll be having uh, our mats. We'll be having objective markers, movement trays, and uh, maybe a couple new things there. We'll see. Cool. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you next time.